Okay, alrighty, howdy guys, my fellow 8, your favorite wolf girl enthusiast, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Tales of KOTOR once again. Uh, we're going to be covering some more tales from the previous game. What is up, guys? Ray at Arya Tenshi Hime. My first time ever catching a stream. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to see you. And what's up, Seiza? Kept you waiting, huh? Yeah, I, I certainly did keep you guys waiting, didn't I? Uh, either way, we're going to hop back into it today. Resume chapter tale selection. Uh, what's up, Dumpster Fire? Good to see you. Uh, hopefully you guys will help me choose a tale today. I guess I should explain the game before we get started. This is only the second stream, after all. Uh, so this is Fire Emblem Tales of KOTOR, the sequel... <laughs> Zane, of course. The sequel to Fire Emblem, Call of the Armor. Um, also, I apologize, I I took a shower a little bit too late, so my hair is a bit wet. Don't worry about that too much, but I, um, this is the sequel to Fire Emblem, Call of the Armor, and more or less the way that this works is that we are the soul of Folo. That's, that's me, of course, uh, and we get to roam the soul district. I don't really know what this is called. Here's what's but still glorious. Thank you very much, 17. Good to see you. Um, we are more or less going through each of these characters, choosing their tales, and listening to their stories from after the game. Uh, he was in a L'Oreal Paris commercial, that's why isn't it late? Absolutely, that's 100% uh, what it was. Um, definitely wasn't just poor time allocation that caused that. <laughs> uh, but either way, we have a lot of characters here that we could cover. Last stream, if you didn't catch that one, we covered Wonderful Floor, of course. She's on the thumbnail this time. I had to include her portrait, of course. We covered it. Delano had uh, a, a true riveting story of heroes and legends, and then Bardell. His was probably my favorite so far. Uh, covered the abduction of several children in a Grand Emperor's scheme. Not quite an emperor, more like a, a Dark Cult's scheme. Uh, but either way. I have just recalled, too, that Rhea says that they're going to be judging me based on my ability to perform ASMR. I don't think I'm going to stand up to the task, but I will do my best in reading the story. Um, to appease the masses, so to say. Uh, either way, do you guys have anyone that you really want to check out this time? I think last time we left off, we were thinking about either going for Killian or uh, was it Alessia? With the Oathbreaker as a sort of Lucina class. I think that she's pretty cool. I'm moderately tempted to go for her. She's also on the thumbnail, funnily enough, um, but she is one of the classes that's on the thumbnail. Uh, either way, I don't have a big preference. All of them look pretty cool in their own way. Killian's very strong with his 80 HP. Oh, true. Uh, we did actually um, think that we were going to leave off or begin with Goo. I think that we'll start off with Alessia this time, and then we'll go for Goo after that, if that makes everyone happy, so to say. What's up, Dribble? Why are we firing the Emblem? How will they get another job? I don't know. That is not my problem to find out, though. Not in this economy. I have too much else to cover. Also, Heartless Caesar, this time you'll be pleased to find out I have dropped the alcohol act for this stream. I have a very tall bottle of water, an entire liter as it were. I'm hoping I'll get through the whole thing. So make sure that you guys stay hydrated too. It's especially in my interest too, if I'm going to be reading because I find it hard on the voice. Either way. Let's play Alessia's Tale, Abandoned Crown. Thought you quit being an alcoholic last time? No. <laughs> Not last time. This time though, for sure. Abandoned crown. What are we gonna be? What are we gonna be getting into? I remember Alessia's tale last time was that she was the, the former queen, uh, now the disgraced queen because her son, the prince, died in the war. Uh, had a liter bottle of smart water. Smart water that you kept at work. That is what I have right here. Uh, not sponsored, of course, but I do like my electrolyte water. And then people threw them out. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let me read through this really quickly. Hmm, an interesting choice. I guess I was interested in what theory you had. You know, because everyone's got a different guess. I beg your pardon? This one's about the Lost Queen, right? Don't underestimate me. This is no conjecture or flight of fancy. Nay, it is the hidden truth of what became of West Coast Horse Queen. The secrets of what became of Alessia when she abandoned her homeland. Right, of course. I'm sure this'll be good. Surely. South Kotor is a hard scrabble land where few crops grow, and what arable land does exist is viciously fought over by rival warlords. Due to peculiar magic disturbances around the island, the coastline is constantly buffeted by storms, making arrival difficult and departure nigh impossible. Indeed, only those who wish to throw away their lives would ever seek out such a forsaken place. Left in an extremely passive aggressive, passive aggressive note saying that whoever threw them out owes you $10. Wow. <laughs> Fair enough. 
That's Gerhard. I thought he was dead in the previous game, but either way. And this is a new guy, he looks really cool. Which is why it's a real surprise to see not one, but two new arrivals here. Voluntary ones, I mean. And what a duo you two make. A kid who's got the eyes of a warrior thrice his age, and a lady who looks like she just stepped out of her noble estate. Seems like this guy has- he's a very good judge of character. If you're questioning my skill, I'm happy to show you otherwise. Spare me the bravado, miss. Just saying that if you were hoping to pass yourself off as a commoner, you've got a long way to go. Starting with how you carry yourself like you're the center of the world. Fair enough, honestly. The death- the death- death glares don't help neither. I'm assuming this is an attempt to provoke me into revealing my background. I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. You'll have to get used to that. The only people who'd willingly come here are the ones with a story to tell. I assure you, there's nothing interesting I have to tell. Ha, <laughs> guess I'll have to switch to needling the boy. Is it not enough that we're willing to fight for you here? This isn't exactly so much a righteous cause as it, as it is turf war. Ain't no such thing as a righteous cause, lad. All there is is killing them to protect ours, and them killing us to protect theirs. Starting ASMR assessment. Awesome. Besides, you know we've got the closest thing to moral high ground there is. On this rock. <laughs> suppose I can't deny that. This rack will killing innocents, even children. How abhorrent. Breaks our laws, too. Too bad getting the clans to agree on anything takes a century. So we'll be alone in this fight. Okay. Really, really nice new portraits. Giving uh, sermons to uptight no nobles has to be one of the most satisfying conversations. I agree. Yeah, we'll have our work cut out for us. Kawarn, how's it looking out there? Not so great. It's a good thing we picked up the fresh meat, because we'll need every, every hand we can get. Ah, uh, you know we'll come out on top. As always, your overconfidence both scares and inspires me, Tarmarg. Tarmarg? Okay. Uh, seriously, though, come take a look at this. Well, seems we have a moment to ourselves. What I said to him goes for you as well. There's nothing about me worth knowing. I think there's quite a few people who would beg to differ, your majesty. You're from West Kotor. No, but I was there in the war, although I don't expect you to remember me. I actually am someone of no importance. Certainly no one who'd miss me for venturing out here. I have no interest in hearing a lecture about responsibility. And I've got no in interest in giving one. I suppose I just... Oi, you two. Get over here. Seems the battle awaits. She's pretty good at hiding her emotions, but it's not hard to guess why she's here. Same as me, she's looking for something. May we both succeed in our quests. Okay. So what are we up against then? Rackle's got his people coming in hard from up north. Hey, yo. <laughs> he seems to have found some shaman ally or some such. They've got corpses rising up from that graveyard over there. So we should probably take him out. Them and that horsewoman over there near the plateau ought to be our targets. Their warriors will, ju warriors will just keep on coming till we defeat the leaders. Rackle himself still seems to be biding his time. Joe Biden his time? Shame. Uh, could have ended this in one fell swoop. Let's get this camera angle. Decent. There we go. Kinda. It's better. Sorry? That's how works been or, or wait, that's how things work around here. Your chief gets beaten, person who beats him, person what beats him, your new leader. <laughs> Wild dialogue. Uh, how refreshingly simple. That's how we like it, but don't really matter till he pops his head out. So as for right now, we just gotta cut up these grunts. Let's go then. A pointless fight among pointless fights. This is what I wish for, isn't it? No burdens or shackles, just the sing of my sword and this brutal dance of death. Ha, <laughs> look, my son. Look at how far your mother has fallen. What's up, Lee? Good to see you. Uh, hmm, so if I beat a foe, I can run his channel. Easily done. I don't know about that one. I'll, I'll, I'll put up a good fight for you. Uh, look at how far your mother has fallen. Perhaps today will be the day that she will join you. Maybe, maybe indeed. Very nice song. Okay, so now we get to play around with our brand new units. Here's Alessia the Drifter. She has cut her hair. Jeez, it's a little bit loud for me. I'm going to turn it down just a touch. Uh, you guys do let me know if the audio balance suffers for it. I don't mind to turn it back up. I can just mess with my own settings at that point. What's up, Alex? Good to see you. <laughs> a fight? Square up. <laughs> uh, either way. This is Alessia. In the previous game, she was the queen of... East Kotor. She is now bitter and regretful. She had much longer hair. She was a falcon knight before. Uh, this is good right here. Okay, awesome. Sounds great to me. If, if that's a good audio balance, I'm very pleased. It's one of the harder things to get, especially on the fly. Uh, either way, here's what she's looking like. Her growths are nothing impeccable, but she's already level 15 with some pretty amazing bases. Seven constitution, constitution so she is getting weighed down a bit by her swords. She does, of course, carry the Oathbreaker, the 20 weight, 0 might, 30 hit. 
worthless piece of trash PRF sword of hers. Uh, I'm sure that nothing crazy is going to happen with that. Maybe there's some secret event. I don't know. Uh, either way, S-Ranking Sword, she's looking pretty good. Uh, obviously, very happy to have a unit like this. She loses three, se three speed to the Steel Sword, and thus puts her at 20 speed when she's using it, which is a pretty good benchmark to have. Um, by all means, excited to use her. I would have to assume that she's our lord for, for all intents and purposes here. Uh, next up, we'll carry on to Gerhardt. He's a journeyman, apparently a tier 3 journeyman. Uh, some very high level units here. 19 power, 21 speed, higher res than defense, uh, and growth rates that kind of allude to this potential possibility with him. Uh, we didn't actually get to use him in the previous game. He is one of the units in the unit paralog or, or unit selection paralog type deals where more or less you choose a couple of units that you want to uh, go with out of a group of them, and we didn't go for him. Uh, when you did this map, Alessia and the hero were the only two who survived. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to be a brutal one then. He comes with the, the hurl bat, a 2 to 3 range, trusty throwing axe, reforge, with 15 crit, 8 might, and 7 weight, with his 8 constitution not weighing him down. Not because it's a hard map, oh. <laughs> uh, it's fine. We'll, we'll get through it, I'm sure. Uh, anyway, how do we want to carry on from here? Apparently, we have a lot of very, very interesting uh, island natives, so to say. That is a wonderful portrait. Um, here's Langsat, a warrior under Rackle, rather lazy, with the Tom's Pylum, the 1 to 3 range. Uh, thing. Anyway, we'll, we'll go through our player characters first, see what we've got. Uh, I do want to start with the dude who we add. These are some very nice portraits. So he's a sniper. Tarmarg, leader of the South Kotorian clan, confident and easygoing, with the sleep bow. Only four uses now, though. Uh, silver bow and the beacon bow, effective against monsters. Essentially just an iron bow for our purposes here. Uh, very low speed, very high constitution. Everything else is pretty solid. A defense archer with high power, high skill. Probably going to be critting a fair bit. He does not appear to have a uh, baked-in crit rate by default. He just has the 5% from the S-rank in bows and 12 from his skill. Interesting indeed. Very strong jawline on this man. Uh, back in my day, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 100%. Uh, anyway, we'll carry on with the one that he had with him. Tarmarg's right-hand man, a skilled and pragmatic scout, uh, Kawarn. With the Sword Reaver, a Killing Edge, Light Brand, a very, very powerful set of weapons. Jeez, this guy's good. Talks with Eloni. This guy's really good. This uh, this reminds me of, uh, what was his name? Uh, Strontium, although a little bit better. Yeah, very high skill. 27 skill, 18 power, 19 speed. I kind of wonder what the enemies are going to be looking like with our units looking like this. There are some in Tomb, so I guess that's where the Beacon Bow comes into play. A couple of unpromoted. For the most part, we're going to be doubling a lot of the enemies here. Being bad at Fire Emblem is the only way to play the franchise, true, honestly. As long as you're having fun, that's the main thing. Uh, either way, really, really good unit. Very happy with this one. Sword Reaver and Killing Edge by itself is a great combination, but then to add the Light Brand as well feels very nice. Uh, this game does also use the Power stat rather than um, Strength or... What is it? Strength or Magic. Uh, you More or less, the Light Brand will probably function the same at one range as it does at 2 range. 19 times 2, okay. We do actually cut strength uh, with the light brand at 2 range. Is that L -L Lucina? I think so. Um, she has the Lucina class, at least, sprite. Um, the map animation, gotcha. So probably not in actuality. Here's Roel with the capped power, 23 power as a paladin, only 12 speed, 15 defense, uh, with a Brave Lance Spear and Dragon Spear. Hmm. Well, by all means, she is probably the most unimpressive unit here, despite the capped strength. Although I'm still very happy with her. Very high skill, very high power. She's not going to be missing, and when she does hit, it's going to be very powerful. The Brave Lance is going to be a great boon to her as a character. Just have to be a little bit more careful about not getting doubled with her than others. She also talks with Solor. Uh, here's Eloni. Kind of reminds me of Nyla a bit. A South Kotorian healer has a fatalistic outlook with capped skill. Pretty low power. Very good speed, very good res. Fire affinity. I keep looking at their affinities, even though I know that they're not going to matter too much. What's up, Roche? Roche? We are heckin' back, that's true, absolutely. Uh, I keep looking at their affinities knowing full well it's not going to matter that much, because the maps are rather on the short side, or your time spent with the units are rather on the short side. Uh, sleep staff, recover, and shine. Very nice, very nice indeed. Has, a, has that sleep staff, that's very fun. Uh, this looks a lot like an Iron Emblem map. It does. It has that palette, that, that sort of feel to it. 
Uh, apparently the enemies are going to keep running at us until we finish off whoever we have to finish off. But anyway, our last unit here is Solor. These units are what happens when you don't sell your secret books. True, honestly. Love their hair. Yeah, they have amazing hair. Uh, younger twin to Roel. Did we already cover Roel? I think we did. Yeah, okay. Younger twin to Roel. Laments for people's fate. Pretty low power as a great knight, but very high speed. Also very low defense. This is the exact opposite of a great knight uh, for all intents and purposes. It seems that she and her sister, the classic red and blue or red and green cavaliers, have swapped their um, sort of... Well, I guess she is the able since she is the faster one. Uh, but they have swapped their classes, so to say, with what you're expecting, usually. The anti-Great Knight, and, it, and indeed, she's like the anti-Paladin. Uh, but honestly, that's kind of fun to play around. She has the Silver Axe, the Zan Madao, which, if you recall, last stream, Killian had one of, I think. Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe we just saw one of those on an enemy. Effective against cavalry, with its 14 weight. Can she handle the weight? I don't think that she can. Um, either way... There's going to be some weapon trading to be done, it, it would appear, if that's going to be the case, because her sister can use that unimpeded. Although I guess her being impeded by that doesn't really matter with how high her speed is. Uh, either way, let's go ahead and get this one started. All of our characters here look really cool. Um, I hope that we get to use all of them to their fullest potential, so to say. How much weight can you handle? That's, that's what I want to know. Okay, so, Steel Lance. Let's let's take a quick peek through our enemies and see if there's anything super notable. We get a Fortis Lancia drop from the Wyvern Knight. There's a Brave Sword on the Cavalier. Droppable Steel Axe that I'm not too concerned about. A Shamshir on this Myrmidon. Okay, Fimble Vetter on the Mage. A Longbow that's droppable right here. Fenrir. Uh, Kaulio. A Dark Mage who has tapped into the Abyss's Depths, has a Fenrir Tome, probably very weighed down by that, loses 5 speed with his already low 9. No movement, he's just gonna be, you know, doing the, the summoning monsters thing. Uh, Lamau, can you handle the weight? That's going so far back, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, either way, that looks like about it. I'd say that the enemies are probably gonna start rushing us down pretty soon. Shout out to Iron Emblem, one map, it's like, okay, my general can tank these guys, and then you lost 3 units a turn later. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty standard for that game. The Oathbreaker, a very, very bad weapon to nobody's surprise. I will try to get one kill with it within this map, if at all possible. Alrighty, Hammer Halberd, so you're obviously not intended to put down... Um, <laughs> you're obviously not intended to put down your Great Knight there. I think that probably the intended strategy here is to just put her here, Zan Madao, uh, have Tarmog probably close by. Maybe we can use the Wind Sword with her. Okay, I think there's a way to handle all of that. I wonder if the Hurlbat will do us any good. Only a Steel Axe here. Hurlbat will do a lot of damage there, no doubt about that. You can reach to there, but you can't reach, so obviously then we would want to give you a sword of some kind and place you... Okay, there are a couple of ways to do this, and I, I'm a big fan so far. Uh, I don't think that we need to kill the hero right away. As long as we place our units a bit intelligently, a crit here would be wonderful. Uh, either way, it is really epic. I'm glad that we get to see a tier 3 um, journeyman for once. A lot of the time, you don't really get to see those too much. They tend to kind of blend into the background of the other classes, because everything's a bit more flashy, a bit more experienced looking, I suppose. So this is how we'll do it. We'll simply use this first turn and wall off a bit and set ourselves up advantageously for the next turn. Should be a very nice little thing for us. Uh, we could use the Sleep Bow on this guy. I'm thinking what we could do is maybe just Rescue Drop Tarmog back. Actually, he's the one with the 20 con, so we can't be doing that. Um, but we could potentially Rescue Drop this one back. We could attempt the crit, Rescue Drop back, and then put Alessia down in front, and then we could see her in action as well. If we don't get the crit, then it's fine, because Alessia can then proceed to enter the combat afterwards. Very nice. Yeah, this is going to be one of my favorite characters, almost no doubt about it. Very amazing palette, very wonderful uh, stats, some very fun weapons. This is probably going to be one of my favorite maps altogether, if I had to if I had to guess. Need a patch up here. Ooh, that one looks bad. You should... Yes, yes, I'm getting to it. Not like I've done this a hundred times before, and we'll do it a hundred times more. Alright, alright. No need for the usual angst parade. You mean the part where I lament that all I do is watch people die or heal them so they can go die? Yeah, or that would be it, yeah. I guess I could move on to bemoaning that my bemoaning has already become so trite. I suppose that would be something new. Barwon, what are we doing? 
fighting a warlord who's so wicked it's, it'd be hilarious if it wasn't horrific. I'm serious. Uh, Karwan with the first impression, absolutely. So am I. Never mind, this is just how it is, so no point in worrying about it, right? Right. Okay. Quite brutal. Uh, she is definitely fatalistic, that is the truth of the matter. Throw him down onto the river, and then put Alessia right here. Hopefully not in range of anything too intense. Uh, I guess I could also trade her over to the Killing Edge. I feel as though she'll make arguably just as good, if not better, use of it, because she is not weighed down. Uh, and maybe she'll, you know, use it to good effect here. Get us a nice little crit with her sparkly animations and all. Alrighty. Solor with the very green palette. We've got Ducell versus Kyle here. I know that's not quite Kyle's um, palette. The high speed coming in very handy. Despite getting weighed down, she was fighting a great knight who adhered to the... Um, the stereotype, so to say, of the of the class. Very nice animation. I've seen that one before. Is that like a true blade type deal? Okay, okay, that's a good feels animation right there. I'm a big fan of that one. Alessia is quickly going to become one of my favorite characters. She already was in the last game. She kind of showed up and did everything that we needed her to. All of a sudden, with no uh, drawbacks or anything of the sort. Okay, so I didn't bait you out. I probably should have, but either way, I think that if we if we just put down Gerhardt here, I don't think anything could go wrong. Um, I do wish I had maybe a hand axe for him, so the mage is probably going to attack him up close uh, after I do this. Very nice indeed. Big fan of Gerhardt. Maybe I should use him. Maybe I should go back and play the first game and uh, use him to his fullest in that game. So what do you have? Killer axe? I'm okay with just equipping the killer axe and calling it good for that enemy phase, because he's got 50 HP. Something tells me he's not going down that easily. So, a little bit of a rescue drop, or not quite rescue drop, but trade chain right there. Alrighty, and then we've got the Fetid Claw homie over here. We do have the Beacon Bow, but we can't quite reach the sky. Uh, so I guess we're probably intended to take Tarmarg over this way with the Beacon Bow. Uh, we can bait you. I guess I'm happy to use the Steel Sword on you for the remainder of this map. Um, I could probably get away with Let's see, how much move did these guys have? Still six move, okay. Gerhardt got more defense than Daisy did when you used him? Nice. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, so he's gonna take some pretty significant damage. Um, well, not enough that it's really gonna mean all too much. I guess I'll just go here with you, do a little bit of healing. Take it nice and easy for a solid turn or so and then really carry on in the next one. Maybe I can put Alessia in range? Not quite. I guess I might be able to. No, it's just out of range. Alrighty, I'll put her, her here with the Wind Sword. Presum presumably nothing bad will happen. She's in range to do just about anything that she needs to next turn. Here we go, Carworn. No crit, of course. This guy had 20 luck displayed. Very, very high for a monster. Although, there has been a trend of Entombed and whatnot having high luck for some reason. Not just in this game, but across many hacks. Alrighty, Gerhardt, let's get it. Very, very fun. Uh, also, I'm not sure if anyone is unaware of this, but the uh, Journeyman class gets the plus 15 crit bonus, just like the Berserker. So it turns out to be a very, very fun class to use. Uh, even if you don't tend to because of their low constitution. It's like, why would you choose this over Berserker, uh, apart from really liking the animation? And I guess the stat caps might make a bit of a difference? I don't know. Don't the Entombed have high luck and HP in vanilla FE8? Uh, they don't actually have high luck in FE8, but they do have the high HP. Enemies tend not to have luck, especially monsters and whatnot, but uh, regardless of that... Wait, she has C rank in Lances, that's kind of surprising. She is completely surprising in all ways. Yeah, high HP and strength, that's the main thing, with the uh, Fetid Claw, which does tend to weigh them down a lot on average. I'm glad that the game shows you now um, what the Fetid Claw stats are, because you usually don't, you don't get to see that. Um, either way, across these three, the Fortis Lancia. I mean, I guess my best bet here is really just putting Gerhardt onto this, maybe even doing a little bit of... Um, what is known as the comedy in which we trade over let's see yeah we trade over the hand axe K 
Kanto to right here, it doesn't really matter with you, but what we do is we trade you over this hand axe, equip it or whatever, and then I could recover or I could sleep, I think I could just give him an elixir as well and let him do that, because if I use sleep instead, I can take this guy out of the picture for a turn. Uh, one, two, hold on, so you can go <laughs> literally putting my hand on the screen to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so you can attack to the fort. In that case, I think I'm potentially sleeping the mage. The mage might be the most annoying one. Um, maybe I'll just recover. No, I'll sleep. Should I sleep this guy, I wonder? Probably, honestly. I'll give it a shot, might as well. The Fortis Lancia, gonna be a very nice thing to have later, but for now it would be nice to not have to deal with his enemy. Awesome. Zany Bender, what's up? Recognize the map theme from the hack Deity device. Nice. Sounds like a lot of fun. I don't know much about that one. Let's see, so then in Alessia's case, I'll put her right here, trade him the elixir over, and then kill this guy with whichever I prefer, really. I guess I could attempt this. I mean, it's a bad idea, too. I should guarantee this kill. So let's go for it. Not gonna get the crit first try. Maybe we'll get a, a little lucky dodge. Luck is usually like being holy, and monsters generally aren't seen as holy, so low luck. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Which is always... It's, it's funny to me that they subvert the trope a lot of the time uh, in situations like these. So yeah, hand axe equipped so that we counter the archer and everything else. I guess I don't really care about countering the archer that much. But I did enough to do that strategy, so we'll go for it. Gerhardt on the fort with his high speed. Gonna have very, very high avoid, so even the steel blade's not gonna be a big deal to him. You with the brave sword, conveniently placed out of range. And then I will put you right here. Wait, do you have a healing item? Okay, you do. Elixir, this is a good opportunity to get this talk conversation as well, so I'll trade you this Dan Madao over and I'll give you the Dragon Spear, and hopefully that should come in nice and handy. So what do you think of our new comrades, Roel? The two outsiders, they seem competent enough. They're holding their own in this fight, though the woman's style is strange to me. She doesn't look accustomed to fighting with her feet on the ground. True, she was a falconite. Uh, Wolt reclassed into Ross, yeah, absolutely. Um, she keeps trying to charge in as if on a mount. While I'm not unappreciative of the analysis, I meant what you thought of them as people, not warriors. Who cares? Does the outside world truly interest you so little, sister? <laughs> Thanks for the party poppers, guys. <laughs> Gearheart, absolutely. Um, let's see, what lies beyond this- wait, truly interest you so little, sister, what lies beyond this island? This again, I need nothing but my lance and an appropriate target to be satisfied in life. It's you who constantly has her head in the clouds. Your wishes are nothing but flights of fancy. This is a life we have, and so we must confront it head on. Thought it won't reclass to do a ranger? That's true. <laughs> uh, so we must confront it head on, not dream of a magical paradise. I am not naive for wishing to leave. Others have ventured out from this backwater we call home. Others have attempted it, you mean. Those fools lost themselves to the storms. Besides, if it's really so great outside, why would these two wish to come here? That was what my original question was driving at. What about them compelled... Wait, what about them Conve compelled them to make the treacherous voyage here? Sheesh, the wordplay. It's very nice. I like this a lot. I have no time for this. These enemies will not wait for us to ruminate on pointless questions. If these questions are pointless, I wonder if our lives hold any more meaning. Ah, brutal. Absolutely tremendous. Sheesh. <laughs> this enemy is dead. <laughs> that is one thing I can say for certain. 29 times 4. Uh, obviously, the Entombed have very low speed, but that high power with the Brave Lance really, really hits. Maybe I slept on her a bit too much. Alrighty, so you... You're on a Ballista, that's a lot of fun. A, a proper Ballistician as well. Oh, and you have a Steel Sword, that's gonna be nice. Which, that should be completely fine. Alessia... She's not known for her defensive capabilities, actually, as a matter of fact, at all. So maybe this is for the worst. <laughs> um... Maybe Gerhardt's a bit weaker on the defense, depending on weapon triangle. Um, this could be a bit rough, definitely. 61 avoid, 67 avoid. They're pretty likely to dodge. Not the Fortis Lancia. The Fortis Lancia is going to do 21 damage, 22 after weapon triangle, so down to 11. And then you're dealing 29 minus 11, so 17. Uh, they'll be fine as long as this one doesn't attack. Let's see, this one should choose to attack Gerhard because even with 
even with the... Well, let's see. He'll have less avoid. If he, if he moves last for some reason, then that's when things go bad. Maybe I should put Tarmarg out here in order to bait, because he can't... Well, yeah, if I put Tarmarg here, he should get attacked first and foremost, because he can't be attacked back. And presuming that those enemies move first, they should... One of them should move to attack him first. He has very good HP and pretty good defense. If I wanted to, I could just bait out both. Uh, Wolf Hefty 11, when he takes zero damage from literally every physical enemy, pretty much, yeah. Um, okay, so I will, as a matter of fact, put Tarmarg right here, I think. Maybe he could bait out everything? I guess I'll leave him here instead. Silverbow equipped. And then throw you over here. Uh, don't need the light brand, I'll just... Didn't mean to wait. <laughs> he'll be fine, but I didn't mean to wait. He won't be fine. Okay, he'll be fine. <laughs> Didn't mean to wait there. That's a classic um, moving too quickly moment. A little bit of a risky turn this turn. I could have played a little bit better, but I think it'll work out. I think that we have enough things in place that will cause us to not simply perish. As a matter of fact, the enemies might. I meant to wait there with either some manner of axe or pull back. Oh, actually, he might die to the archer now. That is an unfortunate little um, consequence of my clicking, clicking too quickly. Oh well, that'll happen. We've had deaths in this series prior. Although the archer might not deal enough damage, actually. Okay, she'll live now. She'll be just fine, but our uh, our poor homie down there. It's a good thing I traded the killing edge off him. Let's see, he only had a sword reaver anyway, right? So in, in terms of his other weapons, he wasn't doing too well. Very nice, another dodge. They did all move for Alessia. Definitely had a lot of potential to go bad there, but it worked out. <laughs> it worked out very well. Uh, Wolf is too hot to take damage. He has still goth before it was cool. He is really cool. Wolf is one of my favorites. Uh, he used to be my favorite character in FE11. Rest in peace, the homie. Okay, cool. Very good dodge. It's a good thing that that uh, forest tile was there, despite the issues of quicking, quicking too, clicking too quickly. Sheesh. Don't die. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Rest in peace, the homie. Darn, sorry, Chief. I can't help you any longer. That's rough. A 28 to end it all. Sheesh. <laughs> ah, bit. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, well. Rest in peace, the homie. He didn't deserve it. Uh, if I had simply vulnerary, he would have been fine, as I had intended to. Anyway, Gerhardt can kill this boss, no problem. Huh, guess I gotta fight now, huh? Theoretically. I guess we could also miss, but I, I trust Gerhardt. Um... He's very, very cool and funny. Big fan of him. Well, heck, I messed up. Well, I guess so. Rest in peace, Lang Sat. You had a very, very nice portrait. Uh, consider me a big fan. What a level up. Wow. Yeah, rest in peace, the homie. He, uh, he tried so hard. He got so far, but in the end, 28% fire emblem moment. Uh, okay, so Steel Sword. Honestly, at this point... I think we just kill these enemies and then place down Roel here. Because uh, she's really good. Can't believe Kowarn died. Yeah, he's the only one who survived for you, right? So I guess we have, yeah, we have like the exact opposite experience as as usual. It's like last time, how my Daisy kept uh, leveling up weirdly compared to how yours does. Uh, let's see, could we use the Oathbreaker to get a kill here? I guess I'm willing to try it. It would be kind of funny. Okay. Please. Oh, okay. She simply just doesn't dodge. <laughs> uh, farewell, Langsat, and your gorgeous portrait. Yeah, he was my favorite for sure. Um, well, anyway, I guess you can try that again on the enemy phase, if you so please. Uh, we'll just casually miss two 60 pluses, and we'll get this kill with uh, Eloni, I think is her name. Good old Fire Emblem, and the I and L being the exact same um, thing when respectively uppercase and lowercase. Okay, and then down here is a pretty pretty much solved situation. Um, Roel can go right here, kill this guy with the thingy, as it's known. What's up, Reg? <laughs> work is a shame, but a fellow stream is a base. True, true, true. I hate work. <laughs> it's, I hate work so much, but here we are on a, on a nice little Saturday, having some fun with the old emblem of fire. more skill to pay the bills. 
and a nice little longbow drop. Big fan of those. Okay, and then from that point we should be fine. Don't you already have a longbow? Oh, you have a sleep bow. Uh, how far out is the ballistician? I could just drop Tarmarg right there and let him bait out pretty much everything. Because I don't think he's going to be in tremendous danger considering his stats are so high. Although I guess that's an unfortunate spot for him to stand. Gerhardt's going to take quite a bit of damage there actually. He might not be as okay as I think he is. If he gets attacked by both, then uh, yeah, suddenly quite bad for him. He could definitely die. <laughs> is that fancy water? Hashtag sponsored. It is not sponsored, but it is indeed pretty fancy water. It's the smart water. It's not actually my go-to, but I was feeling the need for some electrolytes today because my throat's still kind of hurting. Have decided not to finish Tales of Code, Code Core and let you play it for me, instead playing Bells of By uh, Bylan. That sounds pretty cool. I have heard exactly nothing about that one. I'm going to put Tarmarg here. I'm going to hope that he baits out the, the homie up there, the Brave Sword homie. That is a good one. Uh, I Yeah, I don't know anything about it. You'll have to let me know. Make sure to let me know either in the, in the server or here on stream. Either one's fine. I'm always looking for new games to play, even if... Uh, even if it takes a while to, to make streams and whatnot of them. Alright, Silver Lance, Steel Sword. She has pretty good defense, so she should be okay. 28 damage, uh, 13, yeah, she's fine. The other one can't deal that much. And then you have a Silver Lance. I'm going to put you here with the Dragon Spear to hopefully bait that. I'll use the Silver Axe, it should still be fine. Alrighty, that's good. That's pretty much the other lose condition, so I'm really hoping that we hit one of these. Okay, good. <laughs> it's about time that she got something with the Oathbreaker. I'm really happy that we could get a kill there. There are no other enemies that are going to get in our way. Uh, Tarmarg is the target of all things. Let's see. Need to stop procrastinating so you can make progress on your own hack? Ah, it's fine. It's, it's life and we're all living it. It takes time. Things take time and all that. Uh, Rayet tried. Thank you for offering map design. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big fan. I, if you guys do release something, do let me know. I'd be very happy to playtest it. Even if it's not on stream, I'd, I'd be happy to playtest it on my own time and stuff. Okay. Brave Sword. How we doing? How we doing, Gerhardt? Okay. We should be fine. As long as we get the, uh... I mean, we're gonna double, but... I would have liked the crit there, is essentially what I was gonna get at. Started development two or three weeks ago. Yeah. That's the... That's the vibe right there. Alright, Ballista. I like Tarmorg. He has a very good feel gameplay. Even though he's slow, he's got the defense for days. Need to stream again, been going to college visits since your theater, so you've gone on hike for two months. Gotcha. Definitely looking forward to the return of the Roche Jana channel. <laughs> the other day, I can't remember what the context was, but I had, I was, I think I might have been playing Smash Bros, and I said Yoshi weird, <laughs> and I wound up saying Yoshi, <laughs> and I was like, that's Yoshi Jenna right there, <laughs> or Yoshi Jacob right there, uh, and I just, I don't know, it's one of those little stupid moments where I was just laughing at myself for no reason, um, but still, <laughs> uh, you wish to challenge me when I've bested death itself. Prepare to fall under the might of my dark magic. I don't think we're going to be doing that. Something something tells me that that's not going to be happening. <laughs> Yoshi Jacob, yeah. <laughs> I feel like there was another one, too, for some reason. Maybe I was thinking of... I don't, I don't remember what the other one was, but... You have such an easily um, memeable name, and it's, it's very nice. No, I too shall be swallowed by the abyss. Going for FE6 Book 2. Nice. Unofficial sequel to FE6. Oh, gotcha. So that's why you use the Zephyl map. That makes a ton of sense. Alrighty, and then a nice easy little cleanup mission for the remaining few monster enemies. This map's not going too bad. Uh, obviously we did lose someone to very unfortunate circumstances, and I have played a bit recklessly, but it has turned out to be mostly okay. Alrighty, and then we'll beacon bow you, and then probably sleep bow the ballista next turn if we can't get the kill. Glad your name is memeable. <laughs> it's memorable, if, if, if that's a better way to put it. Uh, which, you know, potentially is. So we have to defeat Rackle. Uh, Shackled by Rackle. Shackled Power. That's a game, isn't it? Pretty sure. Uh, either way, I guess what I probably should do is heal up Gerhardt, not let him get bodied. Um, 
and then if I want to, I could just win sword. You're asleep for several more turns, so not really a big threat. I'm going to try this first. I'll use the... I guess I'll just use the Hurlbat. Might as well. I mean, it's got so much, so many uses, there's no reason not to have fun with it. So you don't know why, but the FE1 DS games have the most character designs. Sheesh. Uh, stick with you before supports. Ogma and Doga, yeah. I really like FE11. FE11's a fun game. I still need to finish my playthrough of FE12. I had posted about it briefly in the server. I had been replaying it again. And I had, like, Kane and Paola that were just popping off so ridiculously and Barst. And I was literally just clearing whole maps with them. Huh, those fools have fallen right into my trap. I can now rain lightning upon them at my leisure. Oh, Bolting Tome, probably. Okay, this got intense. So what now? This could be a problem. We'll have to figure out some way of getting over there. Although we've no time to sit around and ponder. There's more commanders coming out to play. So we just keep killing them then? Well, he has to run out of commanders eventually, right? Be just waiting around as sitting ducks anyway. If you say so. Well, I guess so. So if we defeat all of the, all of the commanders, theoretically. Uh, I guess South Kotor is plausible for where she disappeared to. Oh, wait, are we going? We're not just going to end it, right? I hesitate to ask, but if this is really a true tale, how would you know about it? Don't underestimate my information gathering. All right, all right. I have a friend of sorts. She was in the area for... Actually, I'm not sure. But anyway, she's the one who recorded these events. Huh, that's pretty hard to believe. I assure you, she's a very real person. No, I meant the part where she was your friend. I kind of assume that since you hang out with ghosts, you don't ever leave this place either. How utterly rude. Moving on, it was about this time that she arrived. Oh, okay. Hey, yo. W look who it is. Oh, and I know who that is, too. That's very nice. Uh, Effie is 11 is cool because of the generics. I, I agree. I love those a lot. Um, it's really true. That woman did have the power to send us here. Well, it seems we'll have to hold up our side of the bargain. Oh, don't look at me like that. I don't trust her any more than you do. But clearly, she's someone we ought to not double-cross. Let us go, then. The target appears not to have arrived yet. The others she mentioned are fighting as we speak. Okay. Is it going to say question mark? Oh, Shiva. Right, of course. A mysterious man who seems to be ex uh, exceptionally gifted at magic. Yes, indeed. I wonder... I wonder who this may be. If you played the, if you played the last game, you probably know who this is. Uh, and then, of course, there's Ansha. It's good to see her back with her 20 power, 20 res. 6 constitution, so she is way down, of course. The Oblivion Edge, death in two consecutive swings, but it's only one use. I wonder, I wonder about that. It is S rank, so I guess I just get to kill one unit no matter what. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's the Myrmidon who shows up in the Lithus map in Thracia. Yeah, exactly, that's the guy, that's him. That's definitely who that is. Alrighty, let's check out these other bosses. Uh, here's Calder, a former chief who joined Rackle to save his own skin, has a hunting bow. Effective against calves with its nine might. Pretty scary, although he doesn't move, so it should be okay. Tomahawk, Elfire. Brave Sword, of course. The classic maneuver. Steel Bow, Halberd, Fenrir, Rackles. And here's Balfon, a wyvern tamer of a tribe subjugated by Rackle. These people seem to have very sad uh, existences, although this one's particularly weak. And then there's this guy with the Steel Lance. Silver Sword, and then Rackle with the Bilksum. 200% hit, 20 weight, range total, ultimate lightning, there is no escape. So he's going to keep beating down on us with 15 damage per hit uh, indefinitely. That's pretty crazy. It's Kellic, yeah, it's absolutely Kellic. Uh, so 15 damage straight up, it doesn't negate Rez, I think, so Alessia and Gerhardt just don't take damage. Uh, the only one, the only one who does take damage is Tarmark, uh, which seems a bit fitting. Life as an FE NPC kind of sad, yeah, it does tend to be a lot of the time, doesn't it? Uh, either way, we can go ahead and get this little conversation here. Probably break down this wall as well. And who would you happen to be, friend? Unless my mind's going, you ain't one of mine. But you're fighting for us, doing a pretty good job of it too, even. You may call me Shiva. I'm here to fulfill a promise. Should I even bother asking what that promise was, Shiva? 
figured as much. Look, I'm not exactly in a position to interrogate here. Never mind someone who's helping us, but I do expect answers soon. Of course, if that is all, the battle awaits. Yet another mysterious person, one who's real good at magic at that. Well, nothing to do besides wait and see. True. Break down the wall with him. Seven power as a wyvern lord is the ex uh, definition of sad existence. Yeah, absolutely. The poor homie up here with nothing but a short spear to presumably her name. Um, that's rough. That's that's level 18 promoted wyvern knight. Is seven strength just straight up wyvern lord class space? That'd be really funny if so. Imagine leveling power seven times in your lifespan. Presumably starting off either as a Pegasus Knight or a Wyvern Knight, and then moving all the way up to level 18 Wyvern Knight. Kind of wild, actually. Seven defense as well. This is what people think Vanessa is, <laughs> I feel like. Uh, either way, we could probably pretty easily just get away with a little bit of this and then healing. Presuming that Eloni doesn't get destroyed or anything. Uh, we can attempt this. If this doesn't hit, I guess it's fine. Okay, nice. Daisy's defense be like, yeah, that's true. Seven defense. Something to scoff at, as a matter of fact. Is that Florina? That I guess that is Florina. Although Florina's like secretly extremely good. Light Affinity Pegasus Knight who supports two lords and several other really good units for no reason. I've slept on Florina my entire existence. I was playing FE, um, seven of randomizer the other night just for the fun of it and um yeah that was that that moment was when i really realized that she's got a lot more going on for her than i initially gave her credit for florian is good because she's cute i've never personally liked her design that much but that's just a me thing i think um she's pretty cool i don't i don't dislike her anymore at the very least Alrighty, so i think i want to put down uh probably roel right here with the Brave Lance, probably. It's probably a better choice than the Zan Madao, despite the, the shiny effective damage. Off topic, but Florina Hector OTP. I'm definitely okay with that. I'm definitely fine with that shit between the two of them. And Tarmar does actually double. So I guess we get the kill with the Beacon Bow. With the Bacon Bow, one of my more favorite weapons. It's very delicious. Tends to defeat most of the enemies that it comes across. Uh, really big fan of the Beacon Bow, by the way. I really hope to find a way to properly implement the uh, monster slaying weapons in my own game without letting them be too overpowered. I don't think that they were too overpowered to begin with, it's just that you didn't really get them. Ooh, I ignored that you existed. Right, and then there's another one down here, I think. Not another boss, though. If only we had a unit with a sword reaver, wouldn't that have been nice? We might have been able to make use of something of the sort. Either way, she has a... Lance Reaver, Silver Sword, hmm. She was pretty cool in the previous game. I did get to use her for a fair bit. She is actually mute, so she can't speak. An expert spy who's in South KOTOR for some reason. I think it's funnier that Florina single-handedly end up ends Lin's blood <laughs> bloodline. I don't think that's the case. I think it's, uh... <laughs> I think it's completely fine. Definitely down with it. I actually don't know who I support Lin with ordinarily. I think I just support Lin based on what's most useful in the gameplay for her because it tends to be the case well I, honestly in florina's case the mix of wind and light affinity is full um attack hit and crit so it is very nice i'm a big fan of it uh, i kind of like the triangle of hector florina and lynn although hector winds up with two b supports that way because it's just a little bit better in a sense that way you're not missing out on too many of the attack and defense bonuses i don't know a lot of damage there. Luckily she's a good dodge, or she gets a good dodge. 74 hit rate. Surely Gerhardt can take that one out. It's definitely getting a bit scary on this side of things. One damage. Haha, <laughs> enjoy being fried, weakling. Yes, indeed. I, I, I will certainly be taking this one to heart. Uh, truly one of, one of the attacks ever, possibly even of all time. Alrighty. And this is where it gets a bit scary. I really want to kill this guy on this face. I'm really hoping for a crit. Unfortunate. Um, why do you find the destruction of the Mighty Lorca clan funny? True, 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 true. Uh, let's see. Okay. That's a pretty fine outcome for now. You only have six moves, so you're not a big deal. Steel Lance on you, so... I think if I honestly just go up here... 
and Brave Lance. You actually double me with Elfire. That's kind of crazy. 19 speed. How much speed do you have? 12? Okay. I guess that's fine. Uh, I could even... I could even attack with him first, I wonder. Nah. I think I'll attempt the Brave Lance. It may be... It may lead to her death. Maybe I should attack with Shiva first. Um, I know his name isn't Shiva, but the game informs me that he is. If this misses, I'm just going to sleep bow this guy, because he seems a bit overwhelming. Okay, now we should be able to get the kill. If Florina and, and Lynn is canon, they can't have kids. I guess so. I don't know if it's canon. I don't know if the game ever announces as much, but uh, I definitely see where people get that impression. This is technically safer. I should probably just do this. Obviously, he could just miss and die. <laughs> It's nothing's guaranteed in Fire Emblem. The safest play was obviously to, to, to sleep bow there. Um, but I did not because it was way funnier not to. Brave Lance. Let's see. It was either MK or the Valkyrie that killed Tarmarg. Uh, was it? Wait, Tarmarg. That's... Who's Tarmarg again? This one? Oh, okay. I got I got you. Okay. In your run. That's what... Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay, so I think what I want to do is go right here, hurl bat at this guy. Hope for a crit. It is an 86, so I might honestly miss one of them. Okay, nice. Good damage, good damage. From that point, I'll take Solor right here, trade over the hand axe back, and then hopefully get a kill somewhere. Probably prefer... I might honestly prefer the damage, because I know that I can get the kill... Because then if I get the damage, I've got three units and three kills. I think I just need the damage. Even if just one of these hits, I need the damage, please. Okay, good. Because now I can wind edge and get the kill on that one. And then the other two die to the other two units, I hope. Steel Lance and Steel Sword up here. Going to get a bit scary, I suppose. Um, and a Shaman, of course, but that doesn't matter too much. Multiple, multiple dimensions have been confirmed. That's true. That's true. Even Lin and Will, do they have a support? I forgot about that one, if so. Alright. I really need this one to hit, I think. It would be very, very appreciated if this one would hit. Because otherwise I probably... Well, I could just Lance Reaver. I wonder if that would get the kill. 20 power, Lance Reaver with 9 double weapon triangles to 31 damage. 31 minus 12. Should be a perfect kill, right? I think that's an exact kill. So in that case, I'll just go right here with you and get this kill and set myself up for two possibilities. That should work out quite well. Eloni might be able to tank one of them and then, or, or bait one of them and then be fine past that. So this one should be an exact kill. Yep, and then I can use very, very cool palette on her, actually. It's almost as if she really is wearing the hood. You don't really get to see that too often. Um... There's an alternate reality where Alara exists and you're married. True. That is exactly the, the correct mindset for <laughs> Fire Emblem, I suppose. <laughs> There's an alternate reality somewhere where wolf girls are real and they're surrounding me right now. And I'm uh, that's the reality that I wish I was part of. I think Sue is a candidate for Lin's kid? I think technically. I don't, I don't think it's ever confirmed who Wrath gets with. Please don't get crit. Okay, thank you. The Ancha Ranch looking really good. Big fan of Ancha Ranch. Ancho Ranch. Haven't been to Chili's since they took it away. Uh, actually, no, I went to Chili's one time after they took it away because I had to discover that it wasn't there. And then I was so disappointed that we just haven't gotten back. <laughs> the Ancho Ranch was too good with the, um, what did I have it with? There was something in specific that I had it with. Maybe it was just the chicken tender things that they have. I don't know. Chilies fell off after that, truly. Okay. okay gonna get blixomed. He truly did blix me. Uh, okay. Seems to be a constant stream of wyverns from that direction. Um, presuming that you don't get doubled by this, I think we should be fine to just send you in here, attempt the kill. Guaranteed the kill, in all honesty, and then Physic. So we'll go for that. Roel seems to be, despite how much I slept on her, the best unit that I have. Listen, it's nothing personal, alright? Just trying to survive. Fair enough. 
I guess he's not going to, but fair enough. Rest in peace, the homie. Huh, <laughs> not bad. Maybe you'll be able to... It did that itself. I didn't press a button there. I uh, still had Ken and Lynn and Florina, so we can never ha have Lynn's strength stat passed on. <laughs> it's... I kind of had Ken and Lynn and Florina, but it's not for that reason, I think. Uh, okay, so yeah, like I said, heal up Rowell. And then we'll simply carry on in this direction with the rest. Uh, the Paladin, your best unit? Never heard that one before. Yeah, true, true, true. Never seen one of those be the best unit. Uh, when was the last time a Paladin was any good? Alright, this one might honestly be the Oblivion Edge unit that I go for. It does seem to be Brave Eclipse, as it was prior. I think that might honestly be the person that I use it on. I think that that is by far the most threatening enemy on this map. Um, as it stands the chance to completely turn me inside out otherwise. Because, like, even my best... Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna Oblivion Edge. I'm hoping that it doesn't actually break after one use. It would be very sad if it did. It does show that it doubles, and usually when units or when weapons have one use, it doesn't show that it doubles. <laughs> so here's hoping it doesn't just backfire on me. Please? I took a big risk. Okay, good. Awesome. Silver Sunset, what's up? Simply do not get crit. That is honestly the best solution. Most of the time, that tends to be the thing that you have to go for. Um, but I definitely prefer to just eliminate that risk outright. We'll just not deal with that. Oblivion Edge has come in handy. I'm very happy with its usage. Truly a shame to only have one use of it, but that is definitely the only way to balance out something of the sort. So maybe you can get this kill. You definitely cannot. Okay. Um, well, you can Windsword this one and get that kill. That's pretty easy. Love the Windsword and how it is highly capable of, if you know, you know. Who will be sent into Oblivion of the sword or the double chance? Indeed, everyone was sent to Oblivion on this day. This has been a very fun map so far. The only major mistake was a misclick, and that's kind of a good feel. Uh, you know that if you double with three brave use, three use brave weapons, you actually get four hits before it breaks. Yep, that's a that's a that's a very good point. Um, that's a that's a rare exception, I suppose. You don't really get to see that uh, situation occur too often, but when you do, it's a pretty nice feel, I'm sure. Okay, you could get the kill with that probably, but this unit needs to go. We're really going to hope that this hits. If not, we're going to be really, really disappointed. Okay, good. The low skill stat will definitely come in handy. Yeah, Roche knows. Roche knows about the sword that it's capable of. And I think all of my units can tank a Fenrir. It is, it is 27 damage at max, so... Really going to hope for a crit here, and then... Nice. And when it inevitably happens, because Gerhardt is extremely cool, going to have a great time with that. Uh, and then past that, I guess I can just... I could use the Sleep Staff on the Fenrir guy. That would be kind of funny. It's not necessary, but it would save me a little bit of a headache. So maybe we'll just... Uh, maybe we'll just Sleep Staff. It, it doesn't have the same effect as the Silent Staff. Oh, wait, it does, doesn't it? The closer you are, the better your hit rate. Okay, let's go for it. Funny little Fenrir. 86 doesn't hit. Disappointed. True. True. 67 doesn't hit. That seems to be the thing. Oh well, that's fine. It is 1RN, so that's kind of funny. She'll be okay. It is odd that you went for Solor, though. Hmm. I wonder if anyone's ever tried to solo this map with Solo. Er. <laughs> That'd be a very nice little challenge, I'm sure. It's a Hercules reference. Gotcha. Rowell, no. I needed two more hit. Yeah, I honestly did. If I if I just if I could have stood inside of the same space as him, then he would have went to sleep. That would have that would have made the entire difference. All right, and we should be able to Zan Madao that guy after some healing. I think. Not quite. Not quite going to get that. Uh, oh well. Uh, we are gonna, we are now going to engage in the strategy of. Lamau, you have six movement. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Uh, that is exactly what we're going to be engaging in. Uh, you have a steel sword, so by all accounts, I can simply trade you over. Um, let's see, how do I want to go about that? I probably should have placed her a little bit more intelligently than that. 
Uh, why don't these guys just kill Rackle? That's true. I honestly wonder the same myself, because this guy is nothing formidable. Uh, he's standing here with a zero might tome. The only thing that causes... I guess the only thing that would keep him in power is the threat of, like, blowing up their, like, family or something, since they would be civilians with, like, no res. I'm pretty sure literally all didn't want to fight for him. Yeah. It's true, that's true. Uh, okay, so let's see. We could go for this, probably. Or we could just, like I said, probably do a little bit of physic from right here. Whoosh. And then trade you over to the Brave Lance. Grab the Longbow. Go right here. Trade that over to Tarmarg. And that sets us up very well for next turn. This guy is a fool, an idiot, if you will. Map is legit really cool. The random plateau feels like uh, something major would happen. Maybe. I wonder if anything does happen up there. Maybe there's a secret event. Uh, but I probably will not be looking for it. I'm going to use the Steel Axe just because I like the Steel Axe. I think it's pretty neat. Could have used the, the Killer Axe there. I got the funny little crit. But I like, I like the Steel Axe sprite, and therefore I must use it. That is how my brain works sometimes. Got that speed level up, very nice. Okay, so by all accounts, place you here. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll place you here with the Dragon Spear, and then you in front with the Wind Sword. And that should work out just fine, because then we're protecting Gerhardt from the, the vigors of battle. Yep. Pretty cool choice. Get to see that shiny Dragon Spear in action. Probably gonna double even. If I'm not mistaken. Very high speed on Solor, of course. Very nice. Got the power level up and speed and defense. That's a that's a pretty classic Great Knight level up minus the speed. And a very good one at that. Okay, we'll just take the damage. Get on with it. Okay, we're gonna have to get a move on up here for sure. Um, I think I honestly just go up here with Alessia, with the Wind Sword equipped, uh, and I might have to spend a turn. I guess I could do this. Go up here, Sleep Staff you, whoosh, and then presuming it hits with that 82. <laughs> More like <laughs> Gerhardt. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I'll place you right here then with the Wind Sword, and then across the... I mean, obviously he's gonna get the, the forest, and that's not ideal or anything, but we do double, even with the Wind Sword. So we do double, 31 and 31. It's 30 and 31, so that would be not enough to get the kill. And as long as... Oh, you actually can reach that tile, so in that case I have to simply back off a little bit. So that was a bit of a waste of a Sleep Staff use, but I guess that does allow me to set up next turn pretty decently. Okay, I think we'll heal Gerhardt. Apparently she is the target for the, um, the Tome thingy because she has so little res. And then past that, I guess we can just carry on with the rest of our units. Um, I guess I could put down Gerhardt right here as well with the Hurl Bat. And then he can hurl some bats at them, whether they are baseball or mammal in... <laughs> whether they're baseballs or mammals, regardless of the case. It'll be fine. He does obviously take damage for this, and he will... Actually, he won't take damage from the overall boss, because that's a thing. But then this boss only has 7 attack and a short spear, so... Kinda just gonna get lull him out. I bear you no ill will. This is simply how it must be. Standing here, I realize... You were just like me, trying to make history. Uh, this is a just reward, I commend you. Okay, fair enough. Rest in peace, ball fan. Uh, <laughs> rest in peace, ball fan. She has had the bat hurled at her. Hey, Pegasus. Hey, yo, hold on a second. I know where this is going. Is that a winged horse? How on earth? Pegasi are supposed to be especially sensitive to magic. For one to have made it here through the storms and the fluctuation should be impossible. The ball fan, absolutely. Uh, this bodes ill. I'll have to, I'll have the rest of my warriors crush these fools before something can happen. And there she is. That's it. Can't be. I left her behind when I departed. How could she have followed? 
She's in danger. I have to get up to that plateau immediately. Let's go. That's really, really cool. Um, that is absolutely awesome. So, here's Sylphid, Alessia's former Pegasus, whom she left behind. That's really cool. Big fan. <laughs> Average ball enjoyer. Absolutely. Okay, so in that case, what we're going to do is I'm just going to rescue drop her up there, and the next turn we'll get that. Uh, and that will be very, very fun. Did not actually know the plateau was going to be used. Yeah, it's a good feel. Alrighty, we'll rescue you up. Do a little bit more rescuing. And then I believe your movement is actually right there. So take and drop. Alrighty. Next turn, we will have ourselves a proper solid Pegasus. That's going to be a very nice feel. Armarg and the others, as they are known, can finish off Rackles. Sylphid Best Girl confirmed. That's a very, very cool name for Pegasus. I'm glad that it doesn't follow the trend of um, just naming them after various Fire Emblem characters, so to say. Nothing wrong with it, of course, but I like, I like the... Maybe it's not a new name, maybe it is still a reference to something, but I like the name. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get that Pegasus. Uh, there we go. Heal up Roel. Throw a little bit of a Hurlbat, or maybe just straight up... Because, like, you don't take damage from the boss, right? You have 18 res. Even with 18 res. Ah, I guess I could just go here. Killer Axe equip, Elixir, whoosh, and then we're good to go. One day we'll have Camilla the Wyvern in 2035. Yeah, I think we might already. Somewhere. I feel as though that might have been a thing. We don't actually double. Uh, when the cab name drops their horse in a support conversation, the horse is named Franz. True. I remember... Let's see, what one was it? Was it Alan that had a horse named after him somewhere? Maybe it was Cecile? Well, regardless, it was pretty cool. Kitty not playing a hack and you missed a 95, you hate your life. <laughs> I, I understand your pain immensely. It really is you, Sylphid. What on earth got into you? We're not partners anymore, understand? I left you. No, I left everyone behind. I I had to, you see. I couldn't do it anymore. Not after letting that cult start a war and tear my kingdom apart. Not after letting my son die. By the four lights, look at me, screaming at an animal. Is this really how far I've fallen? Look at me, Sylphid. It's not worth it anymore. Just leave me alone. Shout out Van Vanessa, whose name... Who's Pegasus' name Titania before the game with Titania? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Will they say nay? I don't know. Still here, huh? You always were a stubborn girl. Oh, don't look at me like that. You know it's true. Look, just go. Go on, get. Ah, fine. You refuse to leave on your own. It's not safe here. So I guess I have no choice then. Are we going to get the Oathbreaker as a new weapon? Is it going to be like the Oath Bringer or something? The Oath Restorer? I'm looking forward to it regardless of what it is. Falconite. Some new stats. A very wonderful promotion. Now use lances again, although I don't think it'll be necessary. And the Oathbreaker. Now powered up. It's been a while, but I could never forget this. This happiness. Maybe it's okay to feel it just for a bit. Fair enough. I can't betray Sparrow because he will kill my mother. Your mother is right in front of you. What do you what do you mean? Yeah, apparently he could just take control of his body and, and use his body to defeat people around him. I suppose the path forward is obvious. Indeed it is. Alessia with the Oathbreaker. Ten might, sixteen weight, a glimmer of hope. She does of course lose speed to it still, but it's uh it's a brave weapon. As a matter of fact, it tends to be very good, actually. Uh, I think we can defeat Rackle next turn with a little bit of rescue dropping. Uh, so I think that's what I'll do. Wait, can he not use this thing anymore? Oh, it's total range, of course. Uh, it's okay, though. Yeah, it's uh, it's this is quite nice. I'm a big fan. Uh, I guess I could probably rescue drop. I only need to go as far as, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if I can drop her right there, then she'll be fine. Which I can, I can manage. I can just go right here, do a little bit of this. Rescue. And then drop you right there. And then from that point, I guess we'll just hurl the bat. As you do. Uh, 
because you're asleep for several turns. The other two can physic or whatever. Um, probably just double heal. Whoosh, and then physic. Uh, good old Gerhardt. Whoosh. Maybe we can get this kill with Ansha. This guy's pretty strong. I'm gonna have to use a lot of resources, or sim simply do this. Okay, never mind. We will not be doing that. We now have to construct a new strategy. <laughs> uh, that is actually what we're gonna have to do. Uh, very nice. Big fan, as a matter of fact. Uh, well, bit unfortunate. Is he gonna be fine if he has to face both of these? Uh, 27 and 17. That is some significant damage. What's that like? <sighs> Too much for my liking? Pretty much. Um, well, I guess we'll just hurl bat. Hope for the crit. If we don't, then it's fine. But we should be completely okay, because then we can just simply trade this over. Kill our axe, and then bam. When the hero dodges an 85, so you have to use an actual strategy to deal with him. Yeah, that's that's a pretty standard, pretty standard Fire Emblem moment right there, I believe. It wasn't an 86, but it was an 85. So I guess we have to be careful, stay on the lookout for those pesky hit rates. Alright, this one's gonna hurt. Her res is capped out, though, so she won't be taking damage. Don't get the crit here? Okay, good. Very important that she didn't, or else she was going to die. I guess she could have dodged it. It is literally a silver axe guy, and she is a sword user on the forest. Very nice. And then we end the map in a turn. Nearly deathless. Maybe it's for the best that we didn't get to use the hero, because you know I would have spammed him. Definitely. He was really, really good. Just not good enough. He, he couldn't handle the weight. There was an 85 on her EXP right there, too. Quite funny bonked 100%. Alrighty, and then we pretty much just end the map, right? Yeah, there's nothing that they can do. Um, it's it's just like... It's just like when... <laughs> I'm not gonna make that... Maybe I'll make the reference, but nobody's gonna get it. It's just like that time that Joe Rogan was on the roof. <laughs> and there was black ice everywhere. There just wasn't a thing he could do. Nobody's gonna get that joke. That's a, that's a very stupid one, but... Uh, not to say I'm... <laughs> I don't know. It, it's a it's a goofy one. Uh, what the? How did you get here? Darn that pr Pegasus. I wonder what would have happened if we'd rescue dropped someone. There's obviously no need to do that. Um, I guess it I guess it still makes sense though. The Pegasus rescue drop strat. Uh, yeah. Okay. Rest in peace, the homie. Even though he was definitively not the homie, by all accounts, he was one of the more evil people that this game has showed us. The Pegasus survived, and so is the Queen. <laughs> bro, we DMT, bro. Yeah, true, exactly. That's what I mean. That's that's the that's definitely the Joe Rogan vibe right there. The the absolutely no brain cells, but like very funny sometimes. <laughs> is pretty much my take on him. There's no point in trying to run. They'll spot us immediately. Better to hide here and wait for that guardian of fate to extract us. So this is more or less just Luan implemented them into this story, right? For no reason. Yes, I suppose we ought to see exactly where her aims are. Speaking of which, I can feel that strange magic again. Seems we'll be leaving this place behind. What an interesting island this is, even with the short glimpse we've had. Can't tell if the mute one is happy or, like, clinically insane. I think she's happy. She's, uh, she's pretty cool. I think her story was that she was a writer. Uh, that lightning spell that Sage was casting. Truly fascinating stuff. Allen's Bay would have would enjoy perpetual safety with that magic serving as a defense. Hey yo, I remember you. You were in Fire Emblem Storage. An appropriate thought. Being able to call, call upon that spell will prove useful to you. A curious way of putting it, as though there is some future fight you foresee my involvement in. You are suspicious of me and my intentions. That is reasonable. I will elucidate then. A storm is coming, Sage. One to which we are but Pegasi on the wind. I suspect that this storm will be of a greater sort then, uh, than that which the Queen's Pegasus has just forded. Ah, ford. Fire emblem. Uh, you surmise cor correctly. The proof of this is that I have brought you here, simply to grant you access to wield that lightning. I risk more than you know, appearing in this world. 
Yeah, because you're supposed to be over in storage as a glitch character. As such, I urge you not to squander the boon I've granted. That is presumptive. Uh, you are too wise to have thought I did this simply to grant you a new trinket. Apparently this unit is one of the best units in storage, but I've ne never used her. She was very fun, I think. Um, very interesting, no doubt. True enough. I suppose you won't be elaborating on what exactly it is that I ought to be preparing for. The funny air unit does not tickle my brain. <laughs> yes, we have spoken long enough in this place. Further details will come in a different location. We shall be departing. Incidentally, I care not if you write down the details of my intervention. None who read it will notice my presence. Okay. Humboldt, the old man soldier, does however. Yeah, no, he was very fun. One more piece in place. Let it be enough. But that boy, of course he would come here. He truly isn't at peace except with an axe in his hand, I suppose. What foolishness. I have no right to appear before him. Even at the end, I told him we were never comrades. Gerhardt getting some lore? Gotta love it when the final boss is just an old man. <laughs> could have sworn that they were right. Or could have sworn they were right. Ah, what's one more strange occurrence? Okay. Looks like it's over then. They all instantly sur uh, surrendered when they saw Rackle's body. Guess that really is how it is here. And we have you to thank for it, miss. Didn't take you for a Pegasus Rider, though. Ho ho. Yeah, didn't see that one coming either. Come on now, you... Uh, you can't still expect to get away without even a hint of your story. Anyway, I suppose things are, will be peaceful now? For a time, anyway. Figures. Don't worry about it. For now, we celebrate. Come on, follow me. Well, we have one homie that's not here. I, I think I'll catch up in a moment. Same goes for myself. So, it seems we both survived the day. Yes? You need not play ignorant with me. You didn't just come here to escape your responsibilities, but to throw your life away, yes? Seems you already decided you know everything. I see no point in discussing this with you. You've made me a bit of a hypocrite, your majesty. I said I had no desire to give a lecture, and yet, here I am. Well, I suppose I'll just say that I don't really think you want to give it all up just yet. Humboldt has insane growths? Really? I don't think I used him then. Am I thinking of Darwin or something? The, the axe one? Uh, two reasons for it, even. Oh? First of all, I know what it looks like when someone is truly fighting, with no regard for their own life. And that's not what I saw out there. I saw someone fighting to survive. And the other reason? I happen to know a little about Pegasi, and I don't think this one would have come all this way if she didn't know for sure that she'd find her master. Should really decide on what characters there are? Uh oh. <laughs> uh, I've said my piece. I'll not bother you any longer. That boy, there really is something strange about him. Did he come here to find a death in battle too? Is he right about me, me and you, Sylphid? Is it okay for me to go on living despite how much I failed? Could you know that? Uh, could you know me like that better than I know myself? I suppose I can make it a bit longer, for your sake at least. And that's the end of that. Well, that was exciting, chilling, poignant. Something. It was something. I guess I hope she found something to live for. Unfortunately, that's the end of that tale, but an uncertain ending with a flicker of hope is just the best, wouldn't you say? Right. That was a very fun story. I liked that one a lot. That was... That one might have been my favorite gameplay map. Uh, as much as I did like um, Bardell's story. His was very fun too, but I... I messed up on Bardell's a bit, didn't I? Well, regardless, that was a very fun story. I liked all of the characters in that one. That one felt very nice. Are we going to move on to Goo next? Is that the one that we're going to go for? I'm going to try my best to do four stories in total today. I can already feel my throat acting up a bit, but I am trying to keep it in, intact with the water and all that. So, And if need be, I'll just go get another bottle of water. It's not like I'm a limited, uh, limited supply of water over here. Uh, can you play as the Gorgon? Yeah, you can uh, talk to her and I think experience her story as well. Maybe I'm mistaken. We can talk to her and see if it opens that up. View achievements? Really? We can do that with her? Wait. Wait, what happened? Oh! With the achievements... He looks really cool. Hey yo. Hey yo. <laughs> 
Hey, yo. <laughs> like and subscribe so I can afford water. True, as a matter of fact. What's that thing you always say about uh, X amount like and X amount viewers SMH? I, I don't remember. Thank you guys so much for whatever numbers are happening on the stream right now. I don't know because I don't look <laughs> while I'm streaming. I prefer not to. Allegedly, Killian's father and dueling rival aims to slay his wayward son. I guess he can't carry on anymore. There will be peace only when this guy's done. He's gonna lay his weary head to rest so that he don't cry no more. 15 watching, 13 likes, SMH true, there's two of you holding out on me. Well, thank you guys so much regardless. Really appreciate that. Um, maybe I'm getting spoiled on stuff that I don't need to be spoiled on, so maybe we'll go back to the normal. Select detail, yes. Wait, we could talk to those guys when they were... Wait, really? Did Alessio's tale just not have a story? I'm guessing the ones who are grayed out are the ones who we have achieved. True Huntress, defeat your rival and obtain your quarry, with no need for a fence to capture your prey. Interesting. Doused flames, make the man whose heart is consumed by embers of rage realize just what those fires will burn if unchecked. This is a cool way of doing that. Um... Let's see, there's a whopping 15 people we could file for a studio apartment, or fill a studio apartment. I appreciate appreciate you guys for that. Now here's Jenkins. I wonder what we missed on his. Did we need to promote all three of them? I bet that's the thing. A new life. Aid the trio seeking to walk the healer's path into realizing their true potential. I nearly did that. I did. I, I specifically didn't because I wanted to rush that one along. So I'm, I'm guessing then that if I do this, I can end turn and then refresh them? Am I able to revisit their stories again? I guess it just shows which ones play floor still. Okay, so we could re-experience those and get the uh, achievements if we so want. Need to promote all three? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. In that case, let's see what the achievement is for, for Goo, if there is one. A Mage Knight, uh, Foss Sparrow, Paranoid North, North Coat Horse Sorcerer, cares only for his faithful hound. Interesting stats. Some of them of all time, as a matter of fact. So let's see what you've got. Uh, we should relive Floor. True, honestly. Treasure Seeker. In the far corner of the Forsaken Ruins, guarded by twin ghosts who still cling to light, find a weapon reminiscent of better days. Okay. Uh, need a break from the story? Let's not do that. We'll just go back down here and we'll try out Goo's story next. Very, very funny name. No doubt about that. So we have to find a treasure. Play Goo's Tale, Lost in Darkness. Yep. Yeah, let's go for it. Tale selection, big sip of water, and then we'll get lost in the dark. Hopefully it's not Fog of War. That'd be nice. Prepare the old wind pipes. Goo. Goo, are you there? Sarah, my beloved. Are you safe? Are you? Gah. Sarah, you will die. You will join me. That monster, you're not goo. You're just an abomination. Stay back. Ugh, die, Sarah, die. Really? Sheesh. Sarah, uh, kill. Druin, come here, my son. Mom, no. What the heck are you doing? I'm Druin, the mighty shuckster. I'll stop you, monster. Kill, kill. So he has let the darkness find him. Okay, he, he's fine. Join your mother, Druin. Join us in the abyss. Wake up, Dad. The abyss. Uh, it's me, Druin. Wake up. Okay. Uh, it happened again, didn't it? Even now that you keep your my bow in your room, that doesn't stop me from rampaging. My claws are coated in shredded wood. Four lights. Did I really break down the door? It's scarcely been a year since we met the four lights in person, and you still use them to swear? <laughs> Dad, are you alright? I can't keep existing like this, Druin. We've tried everything we can, but still, Luden's curse refuses to let me up. Uh, also, Homeboy died last game, so he's it's rather on the funny side that he's here. That abyss of hatred and hunger pulls me closer and closer. Another one of these fits and I might... Hmm? Someone's at the door. It's Ford. It's Arkle. <laughs> it's good to see you, Arkle. Druin, Goo, is everything all right? I was getting ready for an arena match, but I ran over here after I heard screaming. Homeboy is dead, lol. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 
Ah, uh, rip, Bozo. It's nothing. Sure. Arkel, as my son's best friend, I dearly need your help with something. My curse. Someone get Tatsutru. <laughs> uh, that priest, Flint, his name was. He believes the risk of destroying me entirely if he tries his typical spells is too high. And all the folk remedies I remember do nothing. Do you know anything or anyone that could help stave this off? What about that wizard guy you met after the flood? I'm not an expert in magic, but maybe he could help. Abdul, right? Ayo. Yeah, Tatsu is probably asleep. I would reckon so at this hour. I remember his daughter was pretty cute. <laughs> his daughter? I thought it was his granddaughter. Druin. But Narkel raises a good point. We'll need to continue. We'll need to journey to Central Kotor. But the voyage isn't long, now that that East Kotor fleet keeps the seas clear again. Arkel, would you be willing to come with us as we visit Abdul? Of course. Just give me a bit to grab my things and tell the arena manager. It'll be mad as heck once I get back, but anything to help in, help my old friend, right? Okay. Ah, goo. What brings you all the way to my doorstep? We never did grab that drink together, you know. We have little time for banter. The grasp of darkness upon my soul grows ever tighter by the day. Can she be his daughter and gra granddaughter at the same time? I hope not, KJ. I would prefer that that's not the case, as a matter of fact. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's Abdul. He's back. We have two Rip Bozos in chat today. <laughs> uh, the grasp of darkness upon my soul grows ever tighter by the day. I need your help as a magician of Central KOTOR. Some way to revert this curse of mine. Or at least, uh, halt its spread. Hmm, I don't know. Rosalta may have been able to figure something out, but I still can't compare with, uh, compare with her skills. So have we come all this way for nothing? Not quite. I've been reading up on some of Dad's magic tomes, too. There's this dark magic book he keeps in the back. Wait, maybe it is his daughter? Is that? Was that the thing the whole time? I don't remember. Uh, that talks about the locations of hidden relics in some of its back pages. If you detach his arms, he can't use a bow. Easy. <laughs> True, I guess. It's hard to read. But a, lo a lot of it seems to point to one specific spot in ruins in North Kotor. North Kotor. Must we truly go there? Do you want a cure for your curse or not, Dad? Oh, no. We'll go. We'll, f we'll go anywhere to find it. We can't give up now just because of a little snow. Not after all we've gotten you through. One last adventure with you, is it? In that case, I'd be happy to come as well. Kind of mid, even if you give him the aphis drops. Oh, true. Um, goo is, yeah. You sure, Dad? Your health isn't doing great. Don't worry about me, Lily. I'll be fine. Maybe you should even come too. I know you've been looking for a chance to try out that new magic weapon you've been working on. Lily, Abdul, thank you so much. Okay, this is going to be a fun one. Is that the bow archer again? Is he back for this one? Oh, it's him. Um, this is the place, I think. Halfway up the mountain built into the slopes. Some sort of ancient ruin, it looks like. That seems about right. Liam, Flint, I'm still glad you two decided to accompany us as well. Honestly, I just wanted to... I wanted the chance to see you in Arkell again. It's been a year since we've talked, hasn't it? And I figured I'd show off my new armor, too. It's some fine armor indeed. The light looks fondly upon routing the horrors that haunt these dark crevices and I look fondly upon helping my neighbors and friends. I'm not sure what I expect you to say, Flint, but thank you as well. Is Abdul a cannon druid, by the way? That's what it looks like. With my new mercenary jobs, I've got no sort shortage of excitement. A bit more won't hurt, will it? Okay, this is going to be a fun one. Everyone, everyone, this place is a dangerous place. We must do whatever we can to prepare ourselves. It's dark in there. That's quite the understatement. I can barely see the floor in front of me. Ha, huh, floor is not in front of you. I guess that proves his point, though. Even the fog in our last visit to North Kotor wasn't this bad. Druin, your eyes are as sharp as ever, right? I'm guessing we'll need to rely on you to see the path forward. That sounds about right, and make sure not to split up, too. Can't let any anyone get lost down there. My new armor can take a lot, but not everything. Good points, Liam Markel. Stick together where I can see you, all right? What a masterful bit of story-integrated knowledge. One more thing. Hmm? The book was cryptic, but this place is supposed to be full of all sorts of tricks and traps. 
buried explosives, fake chests and walls, hidden attackers, that sort of thing. Well, that isn't ominous at all. I imagine we'll want to search the treasure chest for whatever secrets we can. If this place has something that can help Dad, or help Dad, it'll be one of those things. And we don't have forever. The darkness eating away at this place wears at me. If we let it continue for too long, I might be lost. What a brutal storyline, though, for real. Uh, Homeboy's not doing too good. That is the straight-up truth of the matter. Everyone's level 20. 20 promoted, so there's no, no getting through what their stats are. Apparently not very good, apart from apparently Druin, who's very fast. With his dueling edge for arena fighters, cannot counter or be countered. And Illusion, the Animatome. Druin's magic, plus 20 to his skill, luck, and speed, but can't injure. Okay. So more or less, you equip that and he becomes o Omega Dodge Tank, more or less, but he can't attack. Why? Can he attack in theory? It just deals zero damage straight up. It is minus 20 to his power, of course, so that makes a lot of sense. Liam, we've seen him before with his short bow, his silver bow, but distinctly missing his armored bow. That would have been a nice little thing for this map. Very high power, very high defense, pretty good skill, moderate speed. Probably won't be doubling much, but may double a little bit here and there. This is going to be a very interesting map. Abdul with the Fading Chill. PRF, last remnants of Rosaltish Chill with 17 uses. Uh, 25 crit, very nice, 2-3 range. The heal, the restore, going to be very handy, no doubt. Uh, his armored bow, obviously broken the adventures with floor. That honestly does make sense. And then here's Lily with the Sonyan. The Sauna Onion, as it is. The 2-3 to three range, long range throwing spear. 12 weight. The Gale, Cla Gale Cast Glaive. A prototype, prototype magic infused lance. 16 weight. She's getting weighed down into oblivion. Yeah, the illusion is a really cool idea. Um, she is getting weighed down by everything, more or less. An Arkel with the dueling lance for arena fighters. Cannot counter or be countered. Interesting. Well... These are some pretty okay units, I think. Uh, and then, of course, there's Flint. He can only attack from long range, apparently. Um, fascinating unit constraints. This one really does limit you in a lot of ways, but I think I'm okay with it, all things considered. Goo and Homeboy can trade their bows at their leisure, and then Arkel can trade with Lily at their leisure, the Sonyan and the other thing. Um, these guys have no overlap. This is PRF, so I can't trade that to Abdul. Gonna be a pretty cool map, I think. Obviously the biggest threat is gonna be this guy. So I think... You're probably intended to use the Purge with him. Or use the Purge and whatnot on him. Uh, but I will more than likely be saving that one a bit. Although it does deal a lot of additional damage. Um, how much damage are we dealing with Liam? 13, and then this is a magic weapon as well. Do you just have infinite res? Is that the thing? Does she really just have that low of power with it? It is only 5 might, and I guess it does cut her magic power in half. But wait, why is she only dealing, why is she dealing 0 damage? I mean, I guess it makes sense with the lance. That's really good. Uh, the skeleton guy should be... Equipable item in part three. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I guess the beacon bow is my best bet alongside the purge is... Do you move? You don't move. Silver axe. Okay. Then we'll try this. Hit you first and foremost. Targeting, targeting the bishop with magic. Is it half might at range? Maybe? It probably is. Oh, it's only two range. Oh, it's only four range. That's why I wasn't able to. It's only four range. That's pretty wild, but kind of cool. <laughs> uh, what's up, Nokri? Good to see you. Have a good stream. Uh, glad to see you using Goo. Yeah, he's, he's, his storyline's pretty cool so far. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and move as far out as I can with you. We'll work on getting this kill, and we'll see what happens. In the fog after this, the fading one. Do you think all of the enemies here have a fade? They must have a pretty crazy barber uh, in order for that to be the case. Uh, okay, that's an interesting one. Steel Lance, Rune Swords, that's fine for now. Bit of a shame about that guy. I guess I could... 
I guess I could go here. Uh, well, you have the beacon bow, so let's start with that. I want to see how much damage I have that I can... Oh. Shout out to Goo for the 8% crit there on the 86% hit rate. Uh, big fan, as it were. I guess in your case, I will trade you over to the illusion. And that way you'll dodge, ideally. Then we'll just shortbow you and get this skill. It would be nice to get a promotion item to promote Liam. I think that's like the only thing that I'm missing as of right now. And then you can simply get this skill. Seems set up intentionally in that way. A very easy one. Get the sleep staff out of the way. And the bishop who can use purge on Goo, who is a monster. I guess I probably should have considered that. Um, or not use purge, use slayer. And then Abdul, presumably with pretty good defense, can go right here. I guess I could do this as well. The Sonyan. Or I could use the Galecast thingy. You're going to attack Druin anyway, right? I don't really see a reason not to do this. All of her weapons have range enforced, so I'll just do what I can. And hopefully this will work out. Very nice. That's pretty cool. That's a cool concept, if not necessarily one of the stronger things that you could give to a player. Okay, that makes sense. I'll heal her up. She is getting way down a lot, actually. I need to keep that in mind. I need to keep that very dearly in mind. So how are you guys? Sharp Claw, Scary, Sharp Claw, Aegis Talon. Ancient Claws, plus five defense res. Very high stats on that one. Very high defenses on that one anyway. Well, anyway, in this guy's case, I can simply pulverize him, as you do, with the Silver Bow. Nice crit there. Some very lucky crits on this one so far. Uh, and then maybe Goo can do some things to these guys? Pretty good, actually. It's very ironic to be using the Beacon Bow as a skeleton. It's like, I could turn this upon myself, and I guess he doesn't even have to turn it upon himself. I wonder if just holding it, like, melts his hands or something, or, like, hurts very badly. Um, either way, I guess I could just indefinitely chip away at those guys. Um, I could do that, or I could go right here and use the Sonyan. Or the, uh, yeah, the Sonyan. Because I could also stand right here with Abdul. Hmm, it's a bit of a rough situation. I more or less just need to... Do I need to get a kill this turn? I don't think that I do, actually. I guess I could do that easily enough. I'm not going to be too stingy with my bish bishop, because despite him being very good, and despite him having, having limited uses, um, I have felt as though the distribution... Got to search a lot of chests, apparently, if there's a 36 turn limit. I felt the distribution of weapons has been pretty fair, so I'm not too worried about it, I guess. Not not goo worried about it, I suppose. Um, I guess I'll go here. Attack with the Galecast thingy. And then heal with Abdul. Probably get the kill with uh, Druin. And hopefully that'll work out. Nice. Very lucky crits. What is up with that? Very low percent, but they are coming in handy, no doubt. Uh, so now Druin can easily get this kill, and then Abdul can easily heal uh, Lily. It is nice to have Abdul back. He's obviously not as good as he was in our stream series of it, but uh, he's still very good. Whoosh. Okay, so now the next order of business is to get through the Armor Knight. Probably going to be a job for Abdul, because Lamau, Armor Knight, low res moment. Uh, it'll be a good start. Maybe we'll crit? Okay, cool. That one's not as lucky as the other ones. That one's just a, a nice little feels-good one. A very, very feels-good one, as a matter of fact. Okay. So if we're gonna have to check all of the treasure chests, then hopefully we can get a move on with that sooner than later. Um, silver sword. Okay, you don't move. Sleep. It's fine. I will rescue drop you forward after we do the thing, the getting of the thing, and I guess we'll just start chipping away. Any damage we can deal is good damage, 
Anyway, I do need to check their description. The fading one. Horrors of North Kotor lurk lurking on the edge of memory and nightmare. Scary indeed. Tremendously scary, as a matter of fact. Good old monsters. Okay. And then I don't think we need to attack anybody with you right now. So, we'll see how this goes. There are some obvious traps in the walls and whatnot. Very interesting. We got. We straight up got. We got got. <laughs> uh, indeed we did. Okay, at least Liam can handle this, no problem. Shout out to the Mimic. <laughs> oh boy, love getting me when I got. And then we'll take and drop him with somebody, Abdul. Okay, this should be fine. I'll continue to do this with Goo, because there's really no downside to it right now. And Rune Sword um, assassins are not my favorite thing to just simply leave alive. Uh, that's not ideal, you're probably... You'll probably get doubled. Actually, you don't. Does the purge help with the situation? 18 damage? Nah. Not really. Hopefully we'll get something cool and droppable. That's kind of what I'm looking forward to. A new weapon of some kind to throw at our enemies. Or to distribute. Maybe some, some type of lance. Something surely moving out in the fog. Alright. We'll go ahead and get another one then. We got. <laughs> what do we get this time? Oh, geez, that's a bit rough. Longbow. Um, that's kind of okay, I suppose. There is a Mogul, an Arch Mogul, with an evil eye. Um, this definitely got a bit intense all of a sudden, but I can deal with it, I suppose. I wonder if this counts as a monster. It does, okay. Um, to that end, I'll have to rescue Drop Goo. But, it's a pretty easy kill. Flint, maybe we use the... Oh, well, look who it is. Fate Maiden. Oh, it's actually her. An unknown oracle in northern KOTOR. Is she a memory or a premonition with a berserk staff? Well, luckily Abdul has a restore staff. Um, we'll do our best to not get destroyed by her. That would be ideal. I think we'll just go ahead and attempt to get this kill. One less enemy to deal with. Interesting. I wonder if we're going to be able to get the secret objective. The secret objective didn't seem too difficult to accomplish, but also not the easiest thing in the world. Okay, I'll just put you here. Um, really no downside to just throwing little javelin thingies with you, I suppose. That one's closer to a kill, so we'll go for that. I don't know if I'm going to have to kill those eventually. Maybe. There's a lot of uh, map to explore here. And then Arkel, not to be con confused with Thorkel. Hmm. With his defense, he might be okay. 11 defense. 25, 21. Do you get doubled? 15. You don't, so then we'll stand right here. And hopefully, be fine. He can't, he can't attack back or anything, but that should serve to, oddly enough, help in some ways. He can bait them out, not kill them or anything. I guess it would have been nice to kill them in this case, but regardless, we should be okay. Alright. Classic. He has a really cool palette, by the way. That, that gray and blue goes very well together. Don't get killed, please. <laughs> Fog of War might be hated. Oh, okay. Understandable. Gotta kill them instantly. It seems as though they are... I wonder if you kill them and then they, like... I don't know, something happens uh, with them. Like a bridge opens up or some such. Uh, Axe Reaver... I think I've got to go up in this corner in order to get, like, the secret objective. And that's kind of what's scaring me at the moment. We'll try this one. We got... We sure did get... <sighs> okay. So now it becomes a little bit challenging. Um, don't know why, but my be hated just made me giggle out loud. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad that I could uh, cause such joy out of my misery. Um, okay, so we'll try this one. Oh, you have a crimson eye. Sounded like a little fool, perhaps gesture of some kind. 
Well, that's good. Sometimes we gotta be a tad bit silly every now and then. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm probably gonna have to heal Goo. I'm really hoping we don't get the 1% crit here. Maybe I use you for this, actually, the Sonyan. You have a lot of defense. What is up with that? 14 defense, really. Abdul is my best bet, but then he takes so much damage. Let's just not get crit. That's my strat. Unless we can kill with a longbow, which I doubt. Yeah, okay. Try not to get crit challenge activated. Please? Okay, cool. <laughs> Classic. Um, so yeah, this this is still in a, in a rough spot, no doubt. I'm going to trade the longbow over, do a little bit of healing. Whoosh. And then we're going to trade the... How do I want to do this exactly? Because this is important. I guess we trade the... We'll just trade the heal staff and the longbow over. Attack a little bit. Maybe we'll get to kill this one. Okay, and then... Sonyan? Or maybe I use the Gale, Cl Gale thingy, as it's known. Hmm. Yeah, this is a bit rough, isn't it? Um, what's your defense like? You have no defense. To speak of, anyway. wonder if we can kill that guy, then. With the purge, we can. It's an 86. It needs to hit, though. Okay. If that one had missed, we probably would have lost the map. Uh, I didn't have to commit to that, but I certainly did. And then we kill you. Okay. Please. 297, so it should. Reasonably. Okay, and then following that, we can just put down Lily, um, right here. And then I guess we can do that for no big reason. Uh, Prospero. Pro Prospero, that's his name. He's a professional at his job, with a physic and a thimble better. Wonder what he's up to. Axe Reaver, Lance Reaver. You didn't do anything last turn, so I'm hoping that will stay the same. Uh, and then, like I said, I'll just Gale cast. Are you going to get doubled now? 18, you're losing. 8 speed, 10 speed. You will actually get doubled for 21 with weapon triangle disadvantage. 12 times 2, that's pretty significant. But it's really the best I can goo. Because <laughs> if I stand there, I get longbowed. I guess I don't have to equip that. I could just not attack. Or I could put down the light rune there. That wouldn't be the worst. Hmm. I could put down the light rune there, and then canto down. Or stay right there, or whatever. Is that a good use for the light rune? I guess I don't tend to use them anyway. There's only one use. Oh, I have a couple of them. I mean, I guess it's not the worst. The alternative is just that I trade the weapons away. Or that I equip the Sonyan. So that I only lose four speed, and then I don't get doubled anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Light rune Pog. I probably should just use the Light Rune. It kind of makes the most sense right here, because Homeboy's got to stay back here anyway. I really wish I had a Lance of some kind that was not like this. Let's see. I guess I'll, I'll Light Rune and then Kanto down a square. It's fun to use things when you can use them. Okay, I can't Kanto afterwards. That's a bit rough. Uh, but I guess that's okay. She can only get attacked by one. It essentially has the same purpose as just not using the light rune there. <laughs> um, but I guess that's okay. Is that a vision quest reference? Maybe. Big, big light brand or a uh, light rune fan in that game, I'm sure. Um, there are plenty of. Okay, that's not too bad. Maybe the light rune was the play if we were going to discover that, and now Lily can go down there and defeat that unit. Yeah, and then that, of course. Spidey boy. Not quite Spidey man, but he does have a Spidey plan. Uh, Aegis Talon. Okay, this is pretty doable. I don't know if we have to kill this boss or if we can just talk to him with someone. I wonder if he can talk to anybody. Is anybody display as being able to talk to him? I don't think so. Maybe you, down here at the bottom, the Fate Maiden. Like how Pandan definitely intended you for you, intended for you to use the Light Rune a whole bunch. <laughs> uh, it's a cool thing. I guess it's a nice option to have. I definitely didn't use it that much myself. Silverblade, let's go. Finally something usable. 
Hmm, what's this? It looks like a useful tool, but nothing that'll help Dad. I'd best hang on to it. Okay, fair enough. It's probably down here, the, the secret objective thing. She has one constitution, that's crazy. Guess that's what happens when you're a fate maiden. Uh, okay, that's not good. That is, uh, very drastically less than cool. I guess it's cool, but it's not good. You don't deal damage, that's kind of funny. Um, could I simply kill you? With longbow and goo support? Uh, 16 damage, what do you deal? 14. I could trade over the silver bow, though. They both have A rank, right? So in that case, I longbow and then silver bow. Okay. Maybe this will work. I really would like to get this unit out of the equation. Um, it is unnecessarily hindering Lily right now. Please don't miss this one. Good. Very excellent indeed. Big fan. Uh, okay. So now question becomes, do I really purge this guy? Or, no, I'll wait. I'll wait for a turn and let him approach me at his leisure. Um, I could just kill her. <laughs> There's no reason to do that, but I could. Um, hmm. I am using a lot of purge. Maybe a little bit too hastily. I did say that I wasn't going to worry about it too much, but I kind of have to at this point. This guy's the biggest threat right now. I guess I'll just do that. Okay, that, that's really, really helpful. Good. Excellent. Good job, Abdul. Still proving to be the best unit that I've ever had the uh, pleasure of interacting with. Um, okay, and then we can just simply go down here and attack with the Galecast thingy. Whoosh. Okay, and then that one's no longer an issue. I can kill the other one simply enough by using Arkel. That's a rough name, actually. <laughs> Uh, there are obvious jokes that come into play with that, with a name like that. Um, wait, could I rescue drop him up? Because if I could, that might be the best play. It is a bit scary. You have work at 8 a.m., rip. On a Sunday, really? On Easter Sunday, you have work? That is a shame. That is rough. I, I am sorry for you. Please have a... You've been calling him that all day? Okay. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad that we're on the same page. <laughs> um, anyway, I am really sorry that you have work on Easter Sunday of all things, but I hope you have the best of luck with that. Thank you for hanging out. You've been help calling you our <laughs> Okay, good. I'm glad that I'm not alone. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm not alone on that. I it kind of just dawned on me that that was something that he could be called. And <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but it is kind of funny. Okay, I'm just going to do this. I don't care. Oh, you get paid extra when you work on major holidays? That makes sense. Uh, yeah. If I had to work on Easter Sunday at my work, it would be double pay. I'm sure that there are some people who were gunning for that, uh, but there was no work to be had. They made sure that nobody could work. <laughs> um, you work at a restaurant every- you work every weekend and every holiday? Wow. That is rough. We get every major holiday off where I work. It's just... Okay. Wait, does she not? Oh yeah, she has the Philly shield, okay. If I could work extra hours, you'd be buying a brand new car in a few months. Eh, well, that's a, that's a good hope, I suppose. Um, cars do be expensive, but yeah, I, I get what you mean. Have an interview, interview for a job tomorrow. Nice. Congrats on that. Hopefully that goes well. New part-time job, nice. If I had, if I had the ability, I would definitely choose part-time as my permanent dealio with work, even if I had outside means, like even if YouTube were a, a serious thing that I could pursue. Unfortunate miss there. Even if YouTube were a serious thing I could pr pursue, I think I would still want to work part-time. I think there's a certain amount of like losing touch with reality that occurs if you don't have some sort of something. <laughs> Need another drink, true. It's obviously a very nice thought to, you know, be free of work all the time, and there are certain aspects that are nice to that, but... I think I would start to lose my sanity after a bit, if I'm being 100% honest on that. Okay, so you're a warrior, Silver Axe. This seems like a, draw, a job for Druin. I guess I'll use Abdul. I don't want to use up Abdul too much. He doesn't have much left that he can really do. So we'll grab this heal staff. For some reason, I thought I had way less of those. And then Silver Blade. Uh, we're not going to get the kill, but Abdul can finish the job. Whew, I'm kind of feeling like a drink myself. No, I'm kidding. I had one last night, and I went to bed with a headache, so we will not be doing that tonight. 
Cheapest car is 15k in the US monies, but most people make around 300 monies a month. Really? 300 a month? I am sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know what the deal- okay, like, I'm gonna- I'm gonna vent a little bit here, because I've been struggling with, like, the car purchase thing myself recently. I just don't understand how they can- Ooh, let's not die here. I don't understand how they can show a car as being priced at, like, you know, 15,000 or something, and then suddenly you're paying, like, 28,000 across seven years. I went to get a car recently, and I- I had like a full document and everything uh, confirmed from the dealership and all this that was saying like, yeah, you're only going to have to pay uh, like 400 a month or something across five years. And then all of a sudden, when we get down there, all of this stuff just starts going wild and everything is wrong and they're all, they're, no one knows that I made this deal with them and all this stuff. And then suddenly the car costs 23000 across seven years and I'm like, no, we're not doing that. So now I'm just looking at other options and I'm hoping I can get something pieced together uh, within like two months, a month and a half or something. I was hoping to be able to go to, to go to MomoCon, but I can't necessarily guarantee that that's going to happen anymore on account of the whole car situation. Mitch, Mitsubishi Mirage denied. It was a Ford Focus. It was really nice too. I, I definitely would have went through with it if the deal that they had offered me on the website had turned out to be real. Uh, evidently, nobody even knew that they had the car listed on that site. And so they just, like, flipped it around on me, and they're like, Nah, actually, that's not real. Your dreams are, are memes. <laughs> also looking to buy a Focus? They are very nice cars. Big fan of them. Okay, I'll trade this back. Do a little bit of healing. Hopefully, homegirl back there doesn't get attacked. Use Druin right here. Get the Dueling Edge, get that kill. 2010 went nice. Car dealerships are awful. Let your buddy get a note for a brand new hybrid, but wouldn't finance a used one for less than half. I, I hate dealerships so much. It's like actually the thing that I hate the most right now in the world, I think. Whoosh, heal that up and then put him right here. This isn't three range, right? Abdul has died to three range once before. A few months later, he misses a payment and had to sell it. That's rough. That's rough. And see, that's that's another thing. Like, I I have perfect credit. I've never missed a payment on anything. Uh, and then after all of that, because they have to check your credit in order to see if they can finance the car with you, it just dings your credit for like six points for no reason. <laughs> the bacon is lit, absolutely. Big fan of the bacon. The bacon bow. Um, I don't know if I want to kill this guy. I don't think I have to or anything. I'm going to hold off until I see what this person down here is after. Oh. Fascinating unit down there. I guess I need to grab this and I can rescue drop him up. I figured I would I would just get right here. I am radicalized. Yeah, I am too, in all honesty. I feel you there. Um, I hate dealerships and I will always hate dealerships. No guy who goes to car auctions, he got you an SUV at a stupid good price. That's good. That's very nice. I was recently recently looking at a Ford Explorer that was within my range. Um Anyway, it's four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive is important for me where I live because it's very bad roads out here. Uh, with how far we've gotten through the complex, I'd imagine we should find at least two real chests on this side of the bridge. With the state goose in, we can't afford to go too far back if we forget one. Well, he has referred to his father by his first name. I think I have been broken in immersion. I can no longer carry on. <laughs> uh, anyway. Is this the part where we just go and beat up on children? Is that what we're going to have to do? I, I would ideally prefer not to do that, as a matter of fact. Um, <laughs> let's see. If things don't improve, you're going to have to buy a... Poo... Poo jot. I don't actually know what that is. <laughs> I'm not actually much of a car guy myself, despite how I might look. I am uh, I tend to fool people with that, as a matter of fact. I, 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 I get profiled as being a, <laughs> a car guy. I'm just kind of a guy, as, <laughs> as you do distinctly lacking in the in the car adjective or whatever okay hopefully we'll find something good down here um, I'm gonna have to break down this wall break down the fourth wall as you do and once we get through there hopefully we'll talk to that unit that's in there and get something um, ideally anyway 
Let's see. Who's still got the silver bow? I'm gonna try that over. And break down the wall with the silver bow. But yeah, true. You look like you change a tire. I can change a tire. I can do that. I, I'm just not a car guy, is all. Um, it's I just don't have a fascination with them. That's really it. They don't do much for me. They just take me places. Wonder if we? Yeah, we really don't deal damage with that. Okay. Cargo room. Oh, oh. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> um, I can't pick him up, so I can't trade him over to the illusion. What's the hit rate on? Well, cars are almost certainly not wolf girls. That's true. Cargo space? Carno, Carno do that. <laughs> Cargo road. <laughs> uh, an elf fire drop. That's nice. Would have been funny if Shio had ice magic. True. It would have been nice. <laughs> would have been nice indeed. Well, I think I'll just do this. And then hopefully my units will be fine with the dragon dragging these enemies across the map. Um, maybe the purge will help with that situation down there. Uh, I hope. It is pretty good damage. I wonder if I can double with the other one. I can actually double with the other one. I'm gonna do that, I think. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to get another light tone for him. It'd be very nice if I could. Okay, you can't actually attack the kids. Wait, can you? You can actually attack the kids. I, I was under the assumption that we couldn't because Abdul's 2 to 3 range. Alrighty, we're gonna get an Elfire. Hopefully Abdul will have some good usage after that. Okay, good. Very scary. Gotcha. Gonna miss that one. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. But he is a he is a dragon zombie, so hopefully bows are still effective. If that's the case, I can longbow. Mm, that's not really good enough damage. I could long go from here and then trade over the silver bow with goo, and hopefully that'll deal some decent damage. Silver bow would be 39. 39 plus 16. That should be enough to get the kill. Not quite, actually. I guess I'll just have to deal with that. Um, I'll go right here. Kind of need to be careful with my healer boy. He's not a skater boy. I'd rather not be saying see you later, boy. Uh, either way. Hopefully that'll work out. We'll get this wall broken down. We'll go talk to homegirl and see what she's up to. I see who you are. Who you have been, who you shall be. Men from the lands that are yet to be born, reborn anew from calamity. Risking yourselves to the condemnation of night in hope of saving one who cannot be saved. There are a few timelines in which you succeed. But I shall yet watch for what one which comes to pass. Allow me to assist you. Sure, I'll take it. I'll take the free healer. Abdul is invigorated by this. He has found the willpower to go on for yet another battle. Alrighty, that'll that'll be quite nice. We can get this treasure chest. Hopefully it's not just going to get me. Okay, cool. That is very helpful. Still nothing useful. Wrong. False. <laughs> Wrong. I can't do that. I can't do the voice. I'd imagine any secrets worth finding would be deeper inside. Yes, they'd have to be. Well, hopefully, hopefully we don't have to go all the way back across and explore the other side of the map. That would be my ideal. If I had to place an ideal, that would be it. Um, so I'm going to save the torch, use it on Druin. <laughs> Wrong. Exactly. <laughs> I'm glad that you got it. Um, okay, so Silver Lance, whatever. Do a little bit of healing. Whoosh. Fate Maiden, an unknown oracle. I wonder what her growth rates are like. Oh. Okay. Understood. Naruhodo, Des. Uh, we'll just go right here. And hopefully... Hopefully we'll kill that guy next turn. Uh, but I really want to go down here, use the torch... I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the Thracia Fog. Elfire and Aura with a Sleep Staff. Thracia Fog's not doing me much good. Not doing me much good. Right, that makes sense. I definitely can't do that. I'm going to make my way downtown, walking fast. And these faces pass as I'm homebound. They essentially function as light brands, or light runes, don't they? 
on account of the fact that I'm unwilling to devastate them in this way. Short Ballista, okay, fair enough. Not not a fan of this map, I think. <laughs> to be quite honest, not really my favorite. Um, but we, we will carry on. We will see the end of this story. We have to see the end of them all, as a matter of fact. Uh, so hopefully, it won't be too painful. Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> Nothing too personnel. But certainly kids. Okay. And then... Yeah, I guess we just kind of have to approach. 13 turns already. Feels like it's been longer. Uh, we'll go right down here. Hopefully, next turn we'll actually make some movement. Has stop having these... Um, I didn't check to see if he would die. Okay, he won't die. Map looks very Enderon Saga, so you're not surprised not liking it as much as the others. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the, the thing that's getting getting to me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't really care for Pog of War. I, like, it's fine, but it's not. You know what I mean? Like, it's good when it's used well. It's I'm not saying that this one's used necessarily poorly, but I can tell it's much more gameplay integration um, usage of Fog of War, or more like story implementation of it, rather than for the gameplay. Um, it definitely helps to, you know, build immersion and stuff, and to, to that, I'm not dissatisfied. Or of that, I'm not dissatisfied, but I, I, I just don't really, I, I also don't really care deep down, you know what I mean? Brace and Fog needs to return. It can be done well. I think that Fog of War can be done well. That's always been my take on it, but like, wow is it hard you know what i mean like you really have to put in so much effort that it it, it makes you wonder in, in a certain sense you know whether it's even worth it like the revelation fog that just illuminates rooms see that was reasonable because then you open a section of the game by opening a door and it, it kind of feels more reasonable um i don't know i will always complain about fog of war whether irrational or irrational i think is the thing I'm willing to acknowledge its goods, but I will always prefer it not to be a thing, I think. Uh, I have... So, my philosophy on it for a little bit for my own game was that I was thinking about building it as all of the guided maps are... Um, all of the guided maps are Fog of War, but they are all optional. And I still think that can be good, but I also don't know if I'm going to do that anymore. Because uh, it, it is not my favorite thing. <laughs> uh, can I just have a thing to attack with at one range, please? I, I, I would be a big fan. Maybe that's the other thing. It's like, I wish I could attack enemies at one range. Just just a little bit. Just, just a little bit of one range here and there. Other than these guys who can't retaliate. Except for this, the blade, of course. Because now I have to use Purge to kill this guy if I really want him dead this turn. And I don't know if I care that much. I could Berserk somebody. Maybe I could Berserk him. Uber Spear question mark grants massive stat boosts. Okay, fair enough. Honestly, you know what? I get you. I understand. I don't need to interact with that at all. Uh, I think that's literally Thracia. All the guidance have fogs. None of the story maps do. That sounds about right. I think that's true, actually. Yeah. Um, I didn't piece that together before, but I think that is the truth. Okay, I think I'm just going to try to kill the paladin with the purge thingy. Whoosh. And then the Sonyan. Or maybe the Galecrest thingy? Yeah, that's got more accuracy. Whoosh. Okay, cool, he's dead. Alrighty. Lifus map had fog, don't recall if that was main story. It's, uh, I think it's Gaiden 2 or something. Or chapter 2x. Um, but I know that the one where you get, um, what's his name? Salem. That one's Fog of War. Uh, the one where you get, I don't know, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch, but there's not that many. Thracia did it decently, I'll put it that way. Thracia Fog gets a bad rap because it kind of deserves it in a sense because of what it actually is, but it did it well enough that it's like, I don't think anyone's actually mad about Thracia Fog, if that makes sense. I'm mad about Thracia Fog in the context of GBA Fire Emblem, is I think how I would put it. It gave people the option to be cruel for no reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but that's fine. I got. Unfortunate. A stone. That is unlucky. I'm going to 
have to just deal with that, I guess. Um, cool. That's more reasonable, I suppose, than anything else. Going to Fire Emblem Engage, you might say. Absolutely. If you want to cheat, press select. Oh yeah. Classic. Wait. I guess it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> uh, unless you mean... Yeah, you can't press start either. Pressing start just doesn't bring up the map. Ah, uh, well. Truly a shame. Alright, end turn. He went into the wall. This is this is this is what it means to be American right here. That's true freedom. All of us that are in America right now, frauds. Relative to this guy, absolutely fraudulent. Um, I'm in your walls. <laughs> oh wait, 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 hold on. Wall question mark. That's really cool. Okay, that's really cool. <laughs> uh, what's up, NC76? Didn't know Jesus played Fire Emblem. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes, indeed, I, I most certainly do, on this holy day, on this holy, uh, it, it's not quite, it's not Good Friday anymore, is it? On this day after the removal, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for that, thank you for, uh, popping in. That's a really cool wall question mark. Uh, oh snap, good on the developers for disabling it? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, um, by design. It's nice that you don't move so that it doesn't show that, you know, that was very intentionally designed and I'm definitely down with it. Um, I think I'm supposed to go up here to the top left in order to get a thing with for the secret uh, thingy of this map, but I also don't know if I actually care that much as the other thing. Uh, so we'll, for now, carry on through these invisible walls. That was a pretty cool reveal. Honestly, that by itself might have made the map wholly worth it. Uh, that was pretty. That was pretty nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna carry on with you, torch, and we're gonna see everything. It's Iskander. That is a cool portrait. That is an awesome portrait. Uh, I also like the name Iskander because that's the only guy from Fate that I actually liked. The Godseeker, driven to sorrow, his hopes to retrieve his patron have been crushed. Interesting. You don't move, you don't move, you don't move. Flux moves, Steel Axe moves, Sharp Claw moves. So in that case, we're going to... The wall enforces, um movement penalty I see so in that case we're gonna have to do one of these trade you over to the illusion and go on back and then rescue drop her a little bit um, should be able to get this kill without too much trouble is this two to three range okay okay good alrighty Liam Liam has been oddly useful I guess not oddly he's one of the only units that I have so I guess in a certain sense him being useful as a default, but I've enjoyed his presence. Take and drop. Probably drop you downwards because, yeah, Pegasus Knight privilege. And then Flint. Okay, that'll work. Uh, Eonian, Eonian hair toy or whatever is such a. Wait, what is that? <laughs> I have no idea what that says. <laughs> really cool reality marble. I'll keep that in mind. I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll hopefully remember to research what that is. Oh jeez, wouldn't Druin be cool if the illusion uh, was, it like, granted lethality? That'd be nice. I should have killed that guy while I was up there. Liam's not gonna be okay anymore. Okay, never mind. He's fine. Don't worry about it. He's fine. Oh, he was fine anyway. Okay. He's simply built different. Whoosh. Okay, let's not do that. Let's 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 get out of there with that one. We illuminate our way further into the darkness. Wait, what is that strange movement? Delta Squad in fog of war. <laughs> uh, the curse, kill the child. Oh, he is already armed. I must act now. Drew, and if this does not work, please forgive me. Okay. Flint, what did you do? I performed a spell of exorcism. Light willing, it should stay the stall the curse on Goo for a little while longer, but I may have damaged him. It is all right, Druin Flint. I have pried myself away from the abyss for days now, or whatever he said, <laughs> long enough to find whatever cure exists in these accursed halls. Let's keep moving then, but time is short. I'm glad that Druin can talk to his father while he's berserked. He's not that crazy, right? Where's Steel? Honestly. We need to combine the two of them and create another portal. 
Brave Axe and Brave Axe, okay. So that was clearly intended for me to not get across previously. Very nice music change. like that a lot. Okay, so things have now become interesting with regard to all of this. Yeah, Arkel can clearly do this. We'll just go ahead and get through that one. Need to make them support so we can illuminate the map. Wouldn't that be nice? Fire Emblem, illuminate the map. Okay, a little bit of restore. Whoosh. Glad that we have two restore staff users. Very, very helpful. The bacon bow. A nice little kill here. At least his storyline has been fun. Whether the map has been, again, once once again sort of left up to interpretation, but the map itself has been nice. I only have to search the chests. I don't have to kill this guy. I don't know why the other guy was there. I kind of didn't. I kind of didn't interact with him at all, so I don't know. Okay, hopefully we'll get a crit here. Come on, Abdul. Nice. I might turn off animations for the rest of this map. I kind of just want this one to be over, if I'm, be if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, okay, that's reasonable. I'm within range to restore staff both of the people who could get berserked. No one else can attack. So even if we miss a bunch, it should be okay. Enemies. Enemies abound, as a matter of fact. Um, well... These guys don't move, luckily. You do move. Rotten Claw moves. Where's the other treasure chest? There's certainly... Oh, he's standing on it. So I do actually have to kill him. That's the thing with him. Okay. Hopefully Liam doesn't get doubled. I didn't check. Um, luckily it's divine, so it should weigh down by a significant bit. Loses 6 speed down to 10, so he's fine. Alrighty. That should be within reason. And then I'll just chill out here. And we'll see what happens this turn. Liam getting hit a bunch. Good dodge, Lily. Okay. I really just want to end this map, so I'm going to try to hurry up and get these... Get this treasure chest over here. I'm really hoping... Excuse me, that that's the right one. I'll try to purge that one. That makes a lot of sense. That'll work for me. We'll get a little... Damage in, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, just a little bit of silver bow action. I'm hoping... Wow. Interesting dodge there. I'm hoping that the Phantom won't be too much of a threat. Silver Blade, get the kill. Really? We're gonna miss again? Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Liam, maybe with the longbow, could finish off. Okay, jeez. <laughs> that Pegasus, or uh, that Valkyrie really had it in for us. Um, I think what I might do is attempt to Berserk the Dragon. Yeah, we'll go for that. Nice. That'll help. That'll help a lot. Uh, or it could hurt, as a matter of fact. Does the terrain sh still show while hovering above tiles in Thracia Fog like AS? Nope. Completely blocked off. It is a very cool adaptation of the mechanic. I'm pretty okay with it in terms of, like, the idea behind the concept, so to say. Yeah. Good old Lily. Oh. Is he on a throne? Is that the thing? Or do dragons just instantly recover? Whoosh. Wait, is he on a throne? Okay, well now I can't see. Unlucky, I suppose. Uh, okay, restore you. Whoosh. Flint, please get another kill, I guess. Um, yeah, that'll work. Please hit this. Good, awesome. Big thanks to the dude. Okay, and then I'll just do some healing on Goo and everything. Oh wait, did you move? Move. That's fine. Okay. Beacon bow. Bop. Heal. Whoosh. Um, R. Kelly, let's go. <laughs> that is a wild name. Has he... I can't believe I didn't make that joke last game. I guess I just didn't realize what his name was up until now. There is nothing left for you here. My beloved met the same fate as yours, Druin. Taken by shadow, turned into the consumed one. All I tried failed. All my master's pharaoh tried failed. There is nothing left. I cannot allow you to disturb what semblance of peace remains for my soul. What a brutal dialogue. An amazing portrait, but no palette to go with his battle. Or no battle palette to go with him. Uh, truly a tragedy. Okay, and then the Sonyan 
I'm hoping that the dragon's not in range, because I, you know, it should be right here. One, two, three, four, five. I guess Lily could get attacked. I'm not really too worried about it. I think you can't reach, you don't move. So really, whatever happens, I'll just uh, allow this to... I guess I could put him right here with the illusion and then torch, and then whatever happens, really. Ah, the faded one is fading rapidly. <laughs> he actually attacks back, that's nice. So, if I want to get this treasure chest immediately... How do I want to go about this then? I guess I should probably shoot this guy with a silver bow. Okay, that gets him out of the way, that's nice. Just have to heal up Goo or kill the spider. Um, I guess I could do this, trade you over to the... Trade the beacon bow over, don't do anything there. Swap the beacon bow over to you. Do a little bit of killing this guy. Bop, bop. And then... I could kill this guy this turn, I think. If Abdul can deal damage. Oh, that's not the guy I wanted to attack. Unfortunate. Uh, I guess that's fine. Maybe I focus on killing him for a moment then? I could use the... the this one. Yeah, bop him. This guy's on his way over. Well, I guess I'll... I guess I'll do this. Can I deal 11 damage? How much do I care if Goo actually gets attacked if I have him healed up? Probably not at all, so I'm gonna go for that. I can deal 10 damage for sure. Maybe we get a little lucky 1% crit here. I think Thracia Fog can work in large dungeon escape maps without... Uh, something something because heart on, disc or on the thingy there. I don't think I can risk that, can I? I'm gonna risk it, I don't care. Uh, without cross-wall hitting capabilities. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Death comes, a quick and silent death at strangers' hands. Perhaps the fate I have deserved for my crimes born of madness. Thank you, Druin Goo. How does he know us? How does he know us? That's what I want to know. Okay, hopefully this, this treasure chest will have the secret. The big secret. Okay, there's that. Um, I am actually going to save state right here. Because if this is the end of the map, then I want to go back, basically. Got Ragnarok, okay. Interesting. Still more junk. We can't give up hope yet. We're not at the bottom of this place. I can feel it. There has to be another secret, another glimpse of hope. Okay. Is it the gate? Do we have to seize the gate? Seize the gate with goo, maybe? I wonder if we can use the Ragnarok. A hero's weapon, effective versus monsters, s rank sword. Pretty cool. Alright, heal up the homie. Death comes. Hey, yo. <laughs> uh, okay. Can I kill this guy with Lily? I don't think that she can. Good old Lily. Didn't know he was freaky like that. <laughs> Shout out to that guy for whatever he was on. Alrighty. So, do we have to seize this? Do we have to stand there? No. Uh, is there another wall question mark over here somewhere? If I have to replay the whole map, I'm gonna be completely honest with you that I'm just going to turn on cheat codes and play the map again. I don't care. I'm not playing this map again. <laughs> I have no desire whatsoever to. Um, and I will not be engaging in such behavior. So, ideally, things just end rather on the soon side. Um... Maybe I have to hurry up and, like, get through these guys or something. I guess I could shoot at this guy indefinitely with a short bow. Maybe get a couple of crits or something. Uh, okay. Come on, let me have the end of this map. Is there really... Okay, I'm gonna put goo on this again. Or I'm gonna put goo on it to begin with, and hopefully it'll actually do something. Okay, something just happened up there. Nothing happens. Nothing happens to put goo there. Does he have that much con? 14 con? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, I suppose. Beacon bow. We can start chipping away at this guy. I really don't want to use the rest of my purges. I really don't want to use the rest of my Abdul either. Do we have the Elfire? Where's that at? Okay, it's on you. That's good. <laughs> you could care less this is content. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, hopefully we'll get through this guy soon enough. We'll carry on. Okay, alright, we're getting there. We're, we're making progress. 
uh, uh, progress, if you will. It's extremely cool that way, if I say it that way. Uh, okay, so you're just gonna get left behind. Don't really care. There you go. <laughs> Luckily, he does get healed on that gate tile. That's cool. Use the Ragnarok. Hopefully, kill this guy, no problem. Shiny little S rank Wodao type dealio. <laughs> Good job, Druin. Love getting new swords, love getting the ability to attack things at all. Gotta be one of my favorite genders. Um, okay, so you're out of stuff, you can't do anything. Two boats, brave boat, brave bow, silver bow. Probably quite strong. Stone and heck fang, and two rune swords. I'm probably just gonna use the purge that remains on the stone one. Maybe the other one, if it doubles. It's a start. Bop. Not trying to get stoned on stream. <laughs> yes, I meant that exactly as poorly as I stated it. Um, I guess I'll chip away at these guys for a bit with the gale cast thingy. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, berserk the boat. Use the rave bow to help me. I'm trying to get stoned on stream. <laughs> Fair enough, you know what, everyone's got their uh, their vices and, and whatnot. You can reach. I definitely... Oh, you can move. That's new. Well, you could have used the Brave Bow there. I would have been satisfied with that. Um, let's see. As a matter of fact, it's going to be rather difficult to turn on cheats for this one. Please don't miss this. Okay, thank you. Because I think all of the unit IDs might be scrambled uh, relative to what they usually are. Bop, bop. I didn't have to attack from two range, but I definitely did. Imagine a stream where you're stones, you're just stones and playing Tekken. Oh, <laughs> I could probably play Tekken. I, I don't have that game, um, but I could get that one. The new one looks pretty cool. I would be very, very, very bad at it. That is for sure. Like, unbelievably. Probably the. Probably about equivalent to like handi handi handing the controller to a nine-year-old um, when it comes to Tekken, but it could potentially be quite fun. Tekken with Tucky, let's go. He plays Tekken a lot, that's for sure. If you check out his channel, I'm, you'll find a lot of Tekken content, I'm sure. Uh, okay, so now I guess I just allow him to rune sword me indefinitely. I'll trap him in or something. Okay, there's that. Well, you said it, yeah. He'd, he'd probably wash me. It probably wouldn't even be close. Ah, yes. Fog of War. Yes, thank you, Fog of War, for fogging me, warily. Uh, Tekken just gave you a match and be crazy to play while stoned. Probably. Probably. Okay, game. Thanks for this. Thanks for... If I'm missing something and I needed to be down there the whole time, I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> I'm going to be irreparably sad, as a matter of fact. Uh, I feel like I might be on a wild goose chase at this point, in that I'm probably not supposed to be anywhere near where I am. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe maybe the scare factor is that the map has to end, and then after the map ends, something happens? I don't know. I, I really don't. Only no Tekken because of the uh, Masochist Girl in Neptunia 1. Interesting. I don't know who that is. Okay, so... I really, really, really don't want to play this map again. Like, probably more than I don't want to do most things. Uh, which is impressive, because I don't want to do a lot of things. Her name is Tekken. Nice. Good name. Um, can we kill this guy? I really hope we can kill this guy. I can deal with... Ah, I guess I'll just do this. Please hit. Thank you. Alrighty, alrighty, we get it. There's there's things to explore and, and, and gameplay to play game. Please let me have the end of this map. Please let me have the end of this map. I, I, I'm just not going to play it again, I think. I think I just won't. Uh, I remember having a spiritual experience trying gummies for the first time and playing Three Houses. Nice. The only time that I've ever tried anything of the sort, I got so so unbelievably sleepy that I, I could not do anything except for lie there and then go to sleep, and that was the end of it. Um, was it worth it? Maybe. It was, at the very least, slightly funny. 
And sometimes that's all that really matters, is a small bit of comedy. Okay, Druin, let's kill this guy. I'm gonna use the Ragnarok because I don't care. Let's see. Painted the stream with your wording. You sound like you're dodging landmines. Wait, really? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I tend to avoid um, strong, la strong language on stream anyway, just out of personal preference, but um, I don't mind if anyone in chat does. It bothers me in no way. You just have to deal with my goofy, like, momified um, language at times, so. Simply how it be. Okay, we'll kill this guy, Bop. Please let me have the end of this map. Do I have to kill this other boss? Is that the thing? Do I have to kill him? I really don't want to. Because I saw him as like a shiny dude. It's not letting you make a de-stunch joke. <laughs> Rip. Oh jeez, don't make me play this map again. Please don't make me play this map again. I, I just don't want to be here. I. It's stressing me out now that I just don't want to be on this map anymore. Ah. That's new. Um, I'm gonna put you here with the illusion. I guess I'll put you here with the illusion, and that way we can see who this is. Oh, that's a less big deal. Is there fake walls or a chest under the other Draco zombie? Um, I don't think so. Neither one of those thing things seems to be in effect. I guess I'll kill this guy? I don't know. You fools, you're invading my home, my glorious, glorious home, to steal my ancient magic? Step any closer and I'll unleash the beast. What does that mean? I don't want you doing that, my dude. I, I, I'm i not a fan of you unleashing this so-called beast, as a matter of fact. I, I don't think I like you as much as I used to like you, and I think, I, I think I'm not going to let you do that, actually. Um, maybe we're just going to get away from this guy and, and tell our kids to not get near him either. I hecking hate this map so much. Yeah, really, honestly. Um, you don't want to see me angry. Yeah. Is that the Draco zombie back there? Is there a Draco zombie? Mm, I don't know. He's going to unleash the beast, and I don't want that. So we're not going to mess with him anymore. Neither of my units here can counterattack him, so it should be okay. Um, is this the part where I make him go crazy? Arguably somewhat silly. Just let me through this map, please. Just just don't make me do this anymore. Nostra 2, understandable. Okay. Oh. He sure did unleash the beast, didn't he? Beast status released. That is that is for sure. Um Okay, whatever. I, I don't care. Is there a treasure chest up here that I'm missing? Is that the other thing? Yeah, yeah, you're dead now. Lamau, XD, as a matter of fact. Uh, okay, go there. Ah, he has unleashed the beast. Um, well, that's not ideal. Do you move? Mr. Beast! <laughs> uh, he's gonna go beast mode, maybe. Um, what if I berserk the beast and make it kill him? That would be hilarious. That would be so funny. Uh, I'm going to put Abdul here, and he's probably going to die again, but I just don't want to play this map. I, I don't want to be here. I straight up do not want to be here anymore. And even if it costs me Abdul, I don't want to be here. <laughs> he's going to go beast mode, Mr. Beast, straight up. Sorry, Abdul, you didn't deserve it. I just don't care. Okay, hurry up. Rest in peace, the homie. Ah, result time. No, Pop, please, you can't, not yet. Of course, I'm sorry, my darling, but I can't leave her alone, not yet. I'll withdraw. Yeah, rest in peace. I just want out. If I fail the map condition, I'm not playing this one again. I don't care. I'm not doing it. Give me the thing. This is the last chest and still nothing. Oh, Dad. Thank goodness. It's over. No, this can't be right. There's nothing down here. We can't have fought through all those things for nothing. Uh, the result is chill. I burned away my wife's old tome for this. Abdul Druin. Let's go. Or I guess he had a deeper voice, didn't he? Let's go home. Wait, that stutter in your voice. The curse down here? No, I should have known. I should have had you stay back. I... Run, child. Run. Kill. 
Maybe this is the key? Fight it, Dad. I know you're still in there. Druin, should I? No, I can't let you hurt him again, Flint. Uh, why do you wear your headphones on the back of your cranium? Do I? I guess so. I don't like them leaning forward. Kind of just fits like that. Oh, look, my hair's dry. That's nice. Anyway, uh, emotional moment on screen, of course. He'll, he'll make it through this. He survived Nuofu's betrayal, the siege of West Kotor, and the end of the world. This is nothing. Uh, join the abyss, child. The bacon bow. Oh. You actually had a 0% chance to do that, my dude. I, I'm pretty sure that was illegal. Ah, oh wow. They actually made... That's rough. Please. Druin, no. Why you? He'll pay for that. Flint, Abdul, help Druin. We'll take care of Goo. Wow. Well, he's OP. He's so good. Four... Four damage? That's like some Fire Emblem Heroes mouth right there. Straight up. <laughs> um, put them over your forehead to avoid getting a streamer dent. I don't know what that is, but that's funny. Liam, you. You shot Dad. It's a good thing I learned takedowns that don't kill in the arena. Take this. Okay. He got God. Arguably obtained, even. Let's hope I didn't forget the incantation. Sacred, sacred scepter of healing, let your tr power flow true. Heal. Poor light seizes the pain of this fallen warrior of your cause. Mend. You didn't have a mend staff. Uh, my eye. Oh, he's got a scar. Well... That's kind of cool. They made three entire portraits and implemented them just for this situation. I respect that. Yo, Druin, I... I'm sorry. Four lights, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, Dad. None of this is your fault. It's all that darn dark mages. It's all mine. It's a father's duty to protect his family. I failed that in every way. First Sarah, now you. I... We can find another way to save you. To fix my eye and to fix your curse. Let's head home. No, I must remain here. What? Dad, I can't abandon you here. You already wear a permanent reminder of the danger I pose. This could happen again far too easily. So if you wear your headphones too long and have short hair, or none, at the top of your... Oh, is that it? Gotcha, yeah, I don't I don't get that. Eh, not really, anyway. I look like I'm going bald with how my hair parts. Jeez, that's rough. <laughs> Hopefully not, not at this age. Uh, this could... This could happen again far too easily. It will. If I were to strike you down, or Arkel, or Liam, or Flint, or anyone else, or or Bob, or anyone, it's better that I stay here, or there's no risk of that. Does it, that doesn't change a darn thing. Death has already claimed me, Druin. Where else would I go? What town back in East Kotor has a home for a fiend that could slaughter his neighbors? No, I belong here in Nor North Kotor with the demons now. He crit his son. That is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Druid, my son, I love you now and forever. I must do this for your sake. Fair enough. Take my old books. I won't be able to use these things for much longer myself. But if you use the paper, you can still write. Still speak to us somehow. When you've written something, leave it out on the mountainside on that cave we saw as we came in. I'll fly in and pick it up to bring to Druin. And I'll leave more paper and whatever other supplies you'll need. Abdul, Lily, you don't have to. It's the least we can do, isn't it? I guess so. I wonder why Abdul has, like, the, the the icons. Is it just, like, showing that he died on the map or something and that this is the end for him? Uh, you can't be swayed about this, can you? This is goodbye. Aye, so it is. Goodbye, Druin. Goodbye, Shuckster. It's been an honor to raise a son like you. Make sure to write when you find the chance. I'll read it all. I won't let you be forgotten in the abyss. Thank you, Druin. And then nobody remembers her. Wow. That was pretty cool. Well, that was stark. What did you expect Goose Tail to be like? Being a tragic character is this whole thing. I didn't mean that, just that... What, do you want an alternate ending or something? Here you go. It's the Mirror Bee theme. Well, golly gee whiz, I sure did find this random potion on the ground. Let's give it a try. Why, I sure am cured. Thanks, Druin. No problem. Let's go home and have some chicken pot pie. Well, hold on. We have to listen to that theme for a bit. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm okay with this. <laughs> 
mirror bee theme. They did it better than I did. Sounds pretty good. Big fan. Let's go back to the normal ending. Gotcha. Yep, we sure will be going back to the normal ending. That map took a while. I'll still do one more. I'll still do one more, but I will have to take a restroom break. I have gotten through almost a liter of water. So, you guys enjoy yourself a nice restroom break. Uh, get yourself some chips or some such. Uh, do a thing that does good for you. I shall return shortly, I suppose. I'm not, I'm not gone yet, just I'll be right back.
Thank you for saying that, Heartless User. I really appreciate that. So, I will now repeat the entirety of what I have said. <laughs> First of all, um, have a good night, Roche. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate the company. Good luck with your job interview tomorrow. Have a great rest. Um, what do you guys want to do for the next story was the thing I was essentially getting at. I think Gillian's cool. I think Rold is someone that, like, I'm not especially interested in, but maybe his story is going to be nice. Uh, Sovnia is fun. We can't quite visit Zane yet. I have a feeling he's quite some some ways off, as it were. Taika's probably fun. I don't know. We have a couple of different options. Youngblood, of course. Maybe Youngblood or... Maybe Youngblood's to play. Killian, if Dribble is still here? Uh... I don't know. Can we do Youngblood? I kind of want to do Youngblood. I think Youngblood might be a fun one. I kind of want to... I'm, I'm sure that we're going to see Sherd in his story, so that's where I want to go, I think. I want to do the Youngblood story. I'm sure it'll be fun. Play Youngblood's Tale, Chasing Glory. Yes, indeed. We will be playing that one. Uh, and I will probably munch on a pack of crackers in doing so on the enemy phase. I'll make sure to mute when I do and everything, but getting a tad bit hungry. Chasing Glory. So hopefully this one will be fun. Is that a mohawk? Yes, indeed. It's a, it's a young blood mohawk. He's very special in this way. I just thought with a name like Youngblood, this tale has to be somewhat interesting, right? A wise choice. Let us begin this tale of a man unsatisfied by his life. It's been many years since Kuija's journey, and Youngblood grows restless. Fog ride? Yeah, true. Hey, there he is. This one's pitch black. Uh, this is one pitch black night. I can barely see my own fingers. Youngblood, are you sure this is the way back home? I might have just taken us on a slight detour. Got a job to finish first. Could have told me beforehand, but at a time of night, or at this time of night? Mac and Hazel, glad you two could make it. Well, this is a surprise. Good to see you two. What brings you to this part of the woods? We're gonna kick some bandit booty. I brought my best home for this. Bandits, why? Or what? Uh, it, uh, hmm. Does, does, does Shurd need the Hank Hill? Does he need the Hank Hill? Do I give... I don't know if I could do that one. Yeah, I hope it's not another Fog of War map. If it's another Fog of War map, I might just go back. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not... Or, let's see. Yeah, we're not taking on it, just any bandits, but a bandit city. Ain't that neat. He roped you into this as well, Shurd. I get you, or I get you, but I need to make sure Hazel doesn't get himself an axe in the head. Uh, don't be such a stick in the mud, Mac. We're the good guys. It's our duty to help the weak by slaughtering the bad guys. I don't believe that was part of our doctrine. Well, it should be. Just get over with it, or just get this over with. Call us when ready. Young blood. Wow. We have a lot of people here. Kim's delivery service is coming through. Kim's delivery, it's me, Youngblood, from Kuija's army. Who? Oh, right. You were the axe fighter that kept being bullied by the rest. <laughs> they knew. <laughs> they knew. That's not how I remember it. Maybe I've got you mixed up with someone else. Can't catch up now, got an urgent delivery to make. I sense fog, I hope not. Uh, the way up ahead is through the bandit city. Should you not take a safer route? <laughs> Uh, appreciate this, but this delivery will save a life, and this is the shortest route. We happen to be going the same way. I think we can help each other out. I skipped her dialogue. Whoops. That would be wonderful. I'm pretty sturdy, but my apprentice might need the help. Who? <laughs> is he always there? Not sure. Youngblood, we've got a bit to discuss. Sorry for not telling you beforehand. That's twice that they've used beforehand and not beforehand. Uh, these kinds of days are behind me. I just want to get back to my ducks. You know this, young blood. Do you not want to recapture our gl glory day shirt? This could be our big opportunity. I'm just sick of being... I'm sick of just being young blood, the rice farmer, the odd bloke with the tall tails. That may be your dream, but it is not for me. The war was enough fighting to last me a few lifetimes. I'm going home. Fair enough. They're both heroes. Nice. Young blood. Sorry, but we need you. Are you going to leave your palace to die when you could have helped? I don't like this, but for the last time I will lend you my axe. We're going to have a talk when we get home. Okay, so it's not Fog of War. Is that a Berserker with a spear? Uh, how are we going to cross now? What the heck, young blood? Uh, it's fine. You guys just have to pick us up when we get through. Or, yeah. You're still paying us full price. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, it's him. This body ring and crusted shortbread is simply... Did you hear that crash? That doesn't sound natural. Should go check it out. You mean, you should go check it out. I'm a bit busy right now. 
Why the heck did the boss put this guy in charge? Even worse, mountains. This one should be fine. Intruder, sound the alarm. Everyone charge. My bones may be old, but my blood is young. That's a cool line. Oh, come on. There's no way he said that. Oh, he absolutely did. You're just jealous you didn't have a, you don't have a name that good. I'm not entirely convinced you didn't just make this guy up. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Banger theme. So William the boss, probably Philip as well. Banger theme indeed. So yeah, Philip and William are going to be recurring enemies, it seems. Worthy, the finest of the bandits. Silver bow. This is weird. Lance Zerker. Madge Zerker. Bow Zerker. <laughs> okay, this is pretty funny. Sword Zerker. <laughs> well, I don't think call why do they call these Okay, they are axe zerkers then. Good. <laughs> I was about to become angry if they were not axe zerkers, but they are. Um, this is pretty cool. I like this a lot. Um, anyway, Jim Burt. A legend in the making. A level 1 super soldier, the peak of humanity. 14 con, 30 skill, no defenses. 10 movement! That's crazy. He's amazing. Big fan of Jim Burt. Uh, what are his growth rates like? Oh. <laughs> That's Jim Burt for you. We're gonna have to give him every kill that we can. Um, which shouldn't be that hard of a thing to have to do. Either way, from last game, we have Kim. She has turned out pretty good, actually. I thought about using her in the previous run. I wound up passing her over. Silver Sunset, what's up? So he's a Manakee in disguise. He must be. Comes with two silver weapons and a Tom's Pylum. Uh, I did think about using her in the previous game, and she does appear as though she would have probably been worth it. Maybe in my next attempt, I'll use her and Gerhardt instead of the two that I actually chose. Because uh, she seems pretty cool. Very low power, of course, but that's about it. Um, then Hazel. I didn't use him, but he's theoretically pretty cool. Relaxed monk, monk traveling with his brother, Macadamia. The Flesh Ripper. Brave drains HP. A brave Nosferatu tome. Oh, is it only one range? It is only one range. Well, that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool indeed. That's pretty much just a, a delete two or three enemies type weapon right there. Mac is looking very good. Mac is way better, actually, with just a Lightning Tome, but he only has C rank and magic, so he can't use the Flesh Ripper. Understood. Here's Youngblood. We'll save him. I will save Sherd for last, because he deserves it the most. Villager from East Kotor likes fishing and boasting. He's got the Silver Sword and the Old Bones. 25, 125, 25, and 25. Negates defense. When he's got that equipped, the enemy just straight up takes 47 damage, I guess. Uh, Kim's pretty good in that game, can't kill anything, but she's not dying to non-effective damage and simplifies training for later projects. Yeah, that makes sense. That sounds about right for her. Ah, alas, 1 HP too much on that guy. This guy, however, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I can kill this guy in one shot. Anyway, we'll, we'll check over Sherd, our favorite, with the Peacemaker. Can't counter or be countered. A 20 might sword and a silver axe. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool indeed. Um, big fan of Sherd. So, you've got a silver axe, but you can't double with it. Do you get weighed down by it? Is that the thing? So if I gave you the silver sword, you wouldn't be weighed down. How much damage difference? 15 versus 13. So if you were taking... If you are dealing... F Oh, you couldn't kill anyway. Well, in that case, we'll have to stick with the plan, I suppose. Um, what is the plan? I guess we'll just have fun. <laughs> Pretty good plan. I like that one, actually. Hmm. I guess I'll use Macadamia or Hazel, Hazel for this one. Oh, nice crit. That's very helpful, actually. 51 damage right there. Gets the kill very handily. Uh, okay, that'll work for me, and then we can throw everyone else also into the fray. Because uh, Youngblood could kill this guy in one hit, theoretically. And I'm going to do that, because it's really funny. Very cool animation. I have seen those before. I haven't seen the Lance one, I think. I'm looking forward to seeing what that one looks like. Um, but either way, he's got a silver sword. I'll simply go right here with you. Wait, could I kill the... You, okay, you don't move. You're not an issue. Don't really care. Um, can I kill the archer? If I could, that'd be rather nice. I, 
Psychonauts. That's fine, though. You don't take much damage, so we'll just go ahead and start chipping down this guy. Really nice pallet. Really nice crit. That's very handy. That's very, very handy indeed. Um, let's see. So, if that's going to be the case, we should be able to set up this kill for our super soldier. Hopefully he gets a ton of level ups. I probably should have saved one of the promoted kills for him. Uh, and then... We'll kill you, probably. Hopefully not simply die. Banger theme. Is this from, like, Banjo and Kazooie or something? Is that where that's from? I don't actually know. Very nice. Full level up off of just a brigand, so it didn't matter. 3 HP, plus 2, 3 luck, plus 2 in everything except for res and luck, of course, or in skill, of course, which is maxed. Very nice. Uh, and then to that end, I'm just going to put you here with the silver, silver axe. Going to mute myself, meet these crackers as we watch the enemy phase. So hopefully that'll be nice. I definitely meant to trade him off of the old bones. Very rude of me, I know. To not do that and also to speak with food, but whatever. Simply cry about it is my opinion. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, well, if Jimbert can get a kill, I see no reason not to at pretty much every juncture. I could even set up the William kill. The Killiam, if you will. The William, if you kill? Words. Definitely English language. Possibly of all time. Um, William can't move, so I'll save him for later. And simply get this archer kill for now. These crackers are good. I can't wait for the next enemy phase. Good old, um, simplistic, like, 50 cent cracker pack. Pack of crackers. Jeez. It's crazy. It feels crazy to get level ups like these. I know it's intentional, but like, wow. Truly immaculate. Builds a man different. I wonder if we're going to get Jimbert's st story in the uh, the sequel to this game. Is that what we're going to do? We're going to play the Jimbert tale? I wonder if he can promote. If we could get him to promote this map, I would be very, very pleased. Uh, okay, so I'll just move you on. He has no, or he had no defenses. He has caps at 30. All of his caps are 30. He is wild. So you have a wind sword. If I put anybody... Oh, okay. That's a bit unfortunate. I guess I'll have to rescue drop you back a bit. But either way. The enemy phase theme is the mirror B theme. That's nice. Uh, okay. So yeah, we'll set up this kill for Jimbert. Philip, Philip, I need backup. They're gonna kill me. Yeah, that's true. We sure are going to be doing that. I don't think he's going to survive, actually, as a matter of fact. He's he's about to eat his last body ring. He's about to get bodied in the ring, as a matter of fact. He's uh, not doing too well. I'll use the Silver Lance. Brave Lance is too good on Jim Burton. Oh no, they've got me. Blarg, rarg, arg, bleg. Hope they bought that. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. It makes sense that William and Philip never die. They really are like the Team Rocket with no Meowth, aren't they? What a guy. What an absolutely ridiculous unit. I wonder if his level cap is 30 or something as well. Okay, so... Poor William. <laughs> I knew him. <laughs> Rip. Rip the homie. Uh, I think I'll just kill this guy with the young blood or with the old bones. Maybe I'll heal young blood first with Hazel. A little bit of healing. A little bit of hitting the person with the big weapon and the ouchy creating and the oof his skin and bones and how he's dead and all this stuff uh, and then trade you over to this and then that's fine that'll work I really like her palette her palette is impressive I wish there were more female paladin uh, units in general well maybe not in general but you know what I mean 
you get the idea, you get the gist. Alrighty, and then this enemy phase shall commence. Riveting. They got William. Oh shoot, calm down, Philip. You got this. Oh. As long as I'm this far away, I'll be fine, right? I, yeah. Oh, it's Itoro. Seems there's chaos in the enemy camp. The men, show them the might of East Kotor. Sir, Captain Maluj and Commander Burdock, Commander Burdock aren't in position yet. I remember Burdock. Do we really need the help of West Kotor and some washed up mercenaries? East Kotor can handle its own business. Forward. Glory to East Kotor. Sir, our troops aren't even. Well, friends, enemy reinforcements moving in from behind. Watch your back. Well, true, I guess. That doesn't sound good. Well, it's a good run. Uyama out. So long, suckers. Okay. Cool. Do I have to kill Itoro? 18th Squad. Itoro's division known for their overzealous enforcement of justice. Justice? He's looking pretty good. He has no luck. Captain Itoro, a reckless knight of East Kotor. Bad with directions, good with justice. Sounds like it. So, how do we do here? I guess we set up the kill with Sherd. Maybe if he doesn't get the crit. Okay, nice. I'm gonna have a moment with Sherd. I'm gonna have to get used to him not being overwhelmingly broken, as he used to be. Um, okay, so with the Thomas Pylum, you could really just go down here and do anything that you want, I think. Can we visit any of these houses? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe this one? Nope. Fair enough. So, where's Mac with the men's staff? Whoosh. And then we get this kill. Can't get it with the Silver Lance. Jimbert is very, very fun. Big fan. Um, I can't believe he's just the apprentice for Kim. He's so good. <laughs> I guess he hasn't had the chance to really show his true power yet. Um, but he's like overwhelmingly amazing. Like, in four levels, he gained plus two to almost every stat each time. He, he, he has gained eight stats in four levels in, like, power, speed. <laughs> he's got even more luck than that, like... He's a very good fields unit. That is one thing I can say for sure. I haven't lost my touch, have I, with the Sherd jokes? Okay, I think we'll just chill out this, uh, the remainder of this turn. I'll, yet, I'll let Youngblood bait these guys. He's got enough HP and defense to not worry about it too much. And then Kim can hang out. I'll probably also do a little bit of baiting of enemies and whatnot. This is a really good map theme. Okay, this is going to be a longer enemy phase. That's a lot of damage. Kim is not as uh, tanky as I first thought that she was. But it's fine, we're doing we're doing great. Our units are so powerful that we don't even have to worry. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be an interesting thing. I don't wanna kill Itoro, but I also don't think that I care enough that I will actively try to save him. Alright, Jimbert. Well, in that case, we'll weaken. I need Mac to heal because he's got the men's staff. It's a little bit more convenient for him to do the healing, so there's that one. Youngblood can probably one-shot this guy. Probably the most important enemy to one-shot since nobody else can. The Old Bones is really fun. Alas, poor William. I wonder, um... If there was some secret objective or something with uh, Uyama. I didn't actually check to see what the secret objective was for this one. I guess we'll find out in due time. I think this is a map I could see myself replaying as well. And that would be nice. Um, can I kill this guy with Sherd? You didn't move. That's fine though. Well, I can kill this guy. I think. Maybe. 
I'm not too worried about the brigand at all. Maybe Kim can kill this guy. Please. Please don't miss. Would really appreciate a non-miss right here. Kim is definitely the worst unit that I have. Um, she's she's taking the the what I thought the one girl earlier was and and like making it real. Okay, so peacemaker or silver axe. Really, we don't get those skills. We straight up be not succeeding in combat. Uh, that's a bit rough. I guess in that case, I should probably focus on killing whatever I can. Seems that these guys don't have additional crit either, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. Peacemaker. I guess I just kill this guy, and then we'll let one of the dudes live, probably. Skill speed res, not bad. So, if sure doesn't get... I definitely need to kill the Silverlands one. That, that one's way stronger, so we'll we'll focus on that one. I hope Shard has enough HP, actually. Yeah, he only took 20 damage, so he'll he'll be okay. And then Jimbert. The man, the myth, the legend, gonna get another level up, probably. I wonder if his H I wonder if his like uh <laughs> it is insane seeing those level ups. He got the two res this time. I wonder if his uh what is it? Whatever that coefficient's called that scales your experience. I wonder if his is just maxed out, like at the lowest point, so that he always gets a full level up off of every kill. That'd be pretty funny. Alrighty, Toro. I hate to tell you this, my dude, but like, I don't think that you're going to be alright if you're going to approach us from the back like that. I don't think you're going to make it. Um, something tells me that Toro's not going to be okay here. I don't know if this is going to have repercussions, but if it does, I welcome them. Welcome them. The world needs less scum like you. Feel the weight of the true justice. Yeah. I don't know about that one, buddy. <laughs> don't know about that one at all. Men, fight on without me. Glory to Queen Kuija. Well. It's kind of wild that he didn't... I guess it is weird in a sense that the characters don't remember each other. It, it, like, it, it does make sense. Uh, the army was big and not everyone had a story or anything. But it's still kind of odd in a sense. So anyway, since you got that level up, you can now kill this guy. Wait, really? Oh, he's on the mountain now, so that's why. Tom Spilum. Nice. Very lucky. Surely, in four hits, we'll kill this guy. Only two. He never misses. I don't think he's ever missed yet, and I don't think he ever will. Not with 30 skill on this dude. He's gonna cap luck, too. Two more levels and his luck is capped. <laughs> this dude is wild. What a guy. And Hazel can kill this one, or... Gerd can kill this one, maybe. Both of them, together, through the power of friendship and not supporting each other like Shirt and Mac do. They can get that kill. This one's a nice little calming, relaxing map. You kind of just win by existing. I guess, in truth, I also have been feeding experience to the Est. Is that what we get to call him, the Est? Oh boy. Ah. Oh, it's you. What's going on? Why has Captain Yatoro already ordered his men forward? This was not what our planet called for. I have no idea, Captain. What are your orders? I'm not ready for this. If Yatoro falls on East Kotor's watch, this could be a political disaster for us. Well, I have bad news for you. Uh, but we're marching into an enemy, clearly ready for us in this darkness. 29th Squad, advance. We must assist our East Kotorian allies. All this feels rather convenient, doesn't it? Despite having fought in the same army, they don't recognize them. What are you implying? I can't help but feel you just needed an excuse to have your characters fight. These aren't characters I invented. There's a suspicious amount of detail for someone who wasn't present. I suspect you treat them as characters with a fair amount of creative liberty. That's ridiculous. There's a lot of detail because I was present. Well, you did not bring that up. Well, I was there, so let me finish the story, okay? Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I was not ready for that. <laughs> I was not ready for that one at all. She really was there. <laughs> Shout out to her for being there. Really appreciate 
her her informed take on this. <laughs> I was not ready for that at all. I'm really glad that she was there though. That really proves to me that the story was the truth. <laughs> okay, good, awesome, great job. So can I kill the mage? I cannot kill the mage. Uh, I think I'm getting to the point with Homie over here that nothing can stand in his way and live to tell the tale. Uh, so maybe what I do is I'll trade him the Tom's Phylum and then move him over into the forest and then tell them, like, do something about it, basically. Because, like, in terms of the damage he's taking, it still hurts, but he's got so much avoid from his speed and luck that I highly doubt anything could touch him. So with the Tom's Phylum, and obviously he's just gonna get better. I just... Just something tells me that he's gonna be okay if I leave him there. I don't know what it is. Just something. A hunch, if you will. So then we'll just move up with the rest of them. And now, now that we have our new ally, who has been here the whole time, as a matter of fact, she she never... She was never unpresent. I don't know why anyone would assume as much. Uh, super accurate ballista. That's gonna start hurting after a while. Uh, well, I guess we'll just stand right here then. A little bit of physic. Sure. It's not as though Jimbert needs it, but... <laughs> okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ah, that's a, that's a rough level up. He didn't get two power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Homeboy's kind of, uh, he, he's, he's irrepressible in, in, in the truest sense. He's gonna have every stat capped. <laughs> Actually, he might not cap his defense and res. That's, that's one thing. Can't see a darn thing. I hope I'm not hitting my allies. He definitely needs to be hitting the showers if he's looking like that. Homeboy is... He's down bad. He's absolutely filthy. <laughs> Fluffy jacket man back with the ballista. Hopefully not sad as ballista. Yeah, he's uh, he's about to get the one-shot ballista from Jimbert. They smashed my ballista. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. Um, yeah. Yep. So, unit review. <laughs> I think it speaks for itself. That's that's actually wild. I I really could just throw him against the rest of the map. This is one of those maps that if you don't want to play it, you definitely don't have to. And that's kind of cool. <laughs> What's up? Uh, Xmont A. I hope I said your name right. <laughs> Amelia at home. Yeah, really. <laughs> we have Amelia at home. <laughs> Honestly, that's the best way to put it. OC, do not steal. Wait, that was effective against her? That's amazing. I guess that makes a lot of sense. Man, this is nice. This is my favorite map so far. Everything in this map is perfect. There is nothing that I want changed. Um, well, except for maybe Youngblood potentially dying here to the mage. Never mind. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. It's fine. Map's perfect. Map's perfect. It, nothing needs to be changed. Nothing needs to be changed at all. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's a perfect map. Gameplay is on point. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll let him stay in the situation. I'm just changing the weapon because I'm not I'm not doing that again. This is my last map for the day for sure. He gets uh, he gets to go past the HP cap. Shh. Don't worry about it. Shh. It's secret. It's see it, you you didn't see anything. You saw excellent gameplay. I usually don't do that for what it's worth, but uh, in this case I'm I'm exhausted from that previous fog of war map, but I just wanted to play one more. So I feel no remorse. I am I am, uh, I don't know, perfect in all ways. There is no downside. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Uh, anyway, uh, I think I might just throw him with the Tom's Pylum up that way. <laughs> and he'll be fine. He'll be completely okay. Um, something tells me that he's going to be fine and that nothing could possibly go wrong. It, it does definitely invalidate the map once he reaches this point, but it's very funny. Good job, Hazel. Not getting hit. Big fan. He could have died there, I suppose. Well, let's see the crit. We don't get to see those too often. Yeah, pretty cool. That was uh, casually just a little bit over 100 damage there, I think. Yeah, it should have been. Should have been like 102. He has so much HP. In terms of points of which can be hit, I think he has the most of them. Uh, okay. 
They just moved in without telling me? Ah, they get worse with each generation. Okay. Oh, these aren't bandits. I've cooked it big time. Well, we'll just have to explain. Are you nuts? They've already we've already cut down their soldiers. They shouldn't recognize us in this darkness anyway. Let's run. So Burdock, what if I told you that Okay, he will actually survive. Impressive. Impressive indeed. Um So anyway. So I started blasting. Please don't kill me. I have a wife, a family, 14 kids if only. That'd be That'd be a lot. I, at that point I wouldn't I wouldn't blame him for resorting to to banditry and stuff. Ah, they got me. Because at that point, I mean, in this economy, <laughs> in this economy, you'd have to, you look, you'd have to be stealing something from somebody in order to survive with 14 kids. Uh, gas, the gasoline to get them to, to soccer practice, each one of them to soccer practice at their own separate distinct schools that they each one go to, even, even though after 14 years, you would think one of them had graduated maybe two of them could have graduated by this point. They each go to a distinct school and thus need soccer practice gas money. Yeah, you'd have to... You'd have to rob a bank on the daily at that point. Okay, and then Shirt and, and Youngblood can just watch as the homie rips everything to shreds. I'm, I'm completely okay with this. <laughs> it's like, what are they gonna... He has 71 HP. It's only gonna keep going up. Is he gonna get the question mark HP? I don't think he's gonna quite reach question mark HP. Unless his level's uncapped or something. Ah, he's just gonna miss it. All this complicated chain of command nonsense. A fight is a fight, darn it. But more is there to it. Finally, I'm authorized to settle this. Well, that's pretty cool. I have a solution to him. I don't think he can beat me, actually. I don't think it's possible for him to beat me. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. We don't have to get at we, like he has to bend to our commands at this point. I'm sorry, Gerhardt, but you you're not making it out of this one, my dude. Uh, Burdock might not double him. He is down to zero speed, actually. So yeah, he will be doubled. Uh, actually, he only loses 14 speed. He's down to three, but he'll still get doubled. So I'll trade him over to a silver axe. Actually, wait. What do you have? Silver sword? Oh, you have all three. Well. In that case, I'll just trade you over to your standard weapon then. Even though you'll probably survive against old Burdock there. So, Gerhardt. Ah, yes. You're too old for this, they keep telling me. Let's put that to the test. Okay, fair enough. We'll put it to the test then, and we'll subsequently one-shot you. So how about those old bones, my dude? How old are your bones? I'm pretty sure mine are older. My knee must stand. Maybe I'll wait for someone to help me to help me back up. <laughs> Rest in peace, the dude. Wasn't his ending that he lived to like 83 or, or like 100 and something? He, wasn't he 83 at the start of the game and then he lived until like the actual end of time? Killed him three times over, yep. <laughs> he stood no chance whatsoever. Uh, and neither does Gerhardt, I think. Gerhardt gets doubled. Gerhardt gets quadded with capped speed as a hero. He doesn't stand a chance. Like, they're telling us to escape, but at this point, it's way funnier not to. Yeah, he sold that entire character, yeah. Makes sense to me. Uh, okay, I'll leave him. Well, I guess I could use a little bit of Sherd. Or I could use you, and you could just stand here, and then what? Well, we could escape. We definitely could. So anyway. I'm going to put him on the fort. <laughs> what are they going to do about it? Anyway, I guess the rest of my units probably should be trying to escape. Maybe taking the game seriously. Whoosh. I have been using so much speed up. I have become desensitized to it at this point. I apologize for that. He's a little dodgy. Yeah, he'll get he'll get probably a good few dodges in. Alrighty. Are you ready to feel the heat? Yeah, I, I think so, actually, yeah. You have less in every single stat than me, except for defense and res. 
so I don't think you're going to be faring all too well here. It is very cool that they use the Prince's Despair for that for that battle, though. So, Gerhardt. Um, do I just use the Silver Lance now? I think it's way funnier to use the Brave Lance. Give him a, a chance, you know. Let him attempt to hurt the Jimbert. Finally. Jimbert should get a special Brave Lance that can sextuple, absolutely. The six, the six move, the, the six swipe spear, that's what we'll call it. Alrighty, so then the rest of our people, our humble, our humble employees at McDonald's can move on. At McDonald's, I suppose. Good level up, sure. He should get a cost as a passive, that'd be really funny. Good ol' Hazel, yep. The rest of our units are really good, like... They're, they're solid. There's nothing wrong with them, it's just that they're not literally this dude. So since Luan was there, I, re I remember her killing this guy, actually. I'm pretty sure that's what she did. She was just telling me about that, actually, how she killed this guy. Uh, because she was there. I wonder what the deal is with Jimber. I wonder who was like, let's just make this unbelievably hilarious. I I'm definitely okay with it, but like... There had to be the understanding that there wasn't balance in doing so. <laughs> Which, you know, is fine. I, I, I encourage gameplay that allows you to have your fun, but... It is kind of wild, for sure. So wait, you went into... I think Uyama went into one of those. Can sure to escape? Oh, it's a visit tile. So did you... Let the bridge down. Oh, okay. So then we actually just escape. Wait, where are they going? Oh. They still have something to prove? Is that their thing? I will let them at their leisure. Actually, I'll just rescue them. I think. Yep, you guys are coming. <laughs> you! You're coming with me. <laughs> you have no choice. Shout out to Donkey from Shrek. Truly an inspiration. Yeah, I'm not letting them literally just like... Why did we even pay them? <laughs> why did we even pay them? They have no need. <laughs> you said it at the same time. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm glad that we're both cultured Shrek enjoyers. Oh, jeez. We've taken serious casualties and we failed to capture Uyama or her herd. Her herd. Her horde. Not only that, Captain Nutoro has lost an arm under my watch. The only silver lining is that this bandit city will no longer trouble us. General Glack, I'm sorry. I don't deserve to be a captain. I gambled away the lives of good men to follow the East Kotorians. I don't think what you did was wrong. Really. The tensions never truly faded between East and West Kotor despite the peace. If Queen Kuija came asking how we somehow lost one of her prized knights, well, at least you ensured uh, Sori Toro made it out with his life. Oh! It talked about how he lost an arm in his ending before. That's a cool throwback. Feels wrong to have made this choice, throwing my squad into danger knowingly. Uh, these are the hard decisions you'll keep making as a captain, Maluge. You cannot shy away from them. I don't think I'm cut out for that. Nonsense. You'll grow into your role. But that mysterious force that caused this, they were no mere bandits. They seem to be veteran troops, but from where and to what, uh, and to fight for what? Perhaps it is another remnant of Tokui's forces? We will have to be cautious. A hidden danger may be waiting. Yeah? No, really. Thank you for your help. Now we should be ahead of schedule. I'll have to repay you another time. Stay safe out there. Glad that guy is gone. It creeps me out. Really? I guess that makes sense. He's absolutely covered in blood. It's like tomato sauce just plastered all over him at this point. This was an adventure to be remembered. Hazel, did you not notice? We didn't only fight bandits. We didn't? Mac, Hazel, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. I know you didn't, but if anyone finds out we were involved, our positions are likely forfeit. Did I miss something? Let's just get moving. Don't come to us for any more of your plans. Well, all that for nothing. No, even less than nothing. Our ident if our identities, identities are uncovered, Shirt, I'm a terrible friend. There's no use lamenting anything now. Let's go home. The ducks need to be fed. But I... 
We'll go for a vacation to that one fishing spot you like. The ducks will come, uh, too. Does this really matter so little to you? You're my bro. It's all water under the bridge now. Let's just not repeat this, okay? Okay, let's go fishing. Perhaps it really is time to let go. Okay. And so Youngblood learned the error of his ways. Glory wasn't the answer. That entire story was just men eviscerating one another in excruciating detail. You don't get to just pretend like this was a story with a moral in mind after that. The details, uh, the details were to make you appreciate the folly of glory and the harm this brings. I'm sure that's the reason. I get it, you aren't interested in this one. Now for my next tale. I was interested in that one. That was a very fun one. <laughs> oh jeez. But I think that's all I have in me for this stream. So, uh, I hope you guys had fun with this one. I didn't cover four stories as I wanted to. But that, that one with Goo really did wear me out. So, I guess that's all that there is to it this time. Uh, next time, we still have two, three, four five six stories remaining so maybe two or three more streams and then we're good uh cool beans thanks for the stream thanks so much for being here i really appreciate that we'll deposit your asmr aptitude in your dms awesome i i, I greatly look forward to it uh, thank you guys so much for being here i really do appreciate it hope you guys had fun watching if you did make sure to hit the like button uh all that standard youtuber stuff if you made it to this part of the stream you surely had a good time so i i will hope you will subscribe uh maybe you know, stick around for future streams. We have other games on the itinerary after this one, whether stream games or potentially recorded games. I can't promise anything, but I still want to get back into recorded content. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll see what's on the horizon. Maybe another story to be told, right? So I uh, hope you guys will look forward to that. And that's about all there is to it. Um, shout out to the guy whose name I forgot. I definitely already forgot his name the dude who I just swept the whole map with. He was the homie. Um, yeah, that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you guys have a great night, and until next time, I'll see you later.